All right, let's get this going. Let me pop up the chat and everything. And I'll tweet this shit out real quick. And of stream. All right. Um, let me just tweet this out real quick. All right, we should be good. What's good, people? What's good, G Reaper? Orsini. Let me see how loud this is on stream. So basically, we'll just chill, watch some of the matches, and talk everything. If you guys, if you guys have any questions and stuff, feel free to ask them. I don't know if I'll answer, I'll be able to answer all of them, but I'll answer them as much as I can. Thank you for all the people who followed too. By the way, I just seen. A lot of people followed since I tweeted out that that last tweet. Is this VOD going to be saved on Twitch? Uh, I believe so. I don't think I ever turned VODs off, so it should be. Let me know if you need me to make the uh, audio a little bit more. I'll make it a little bit louder. See how it is. Golden combo, thanks for the following. We'll have people rolling in soon because I just tweeted out, but thank you guys for all tuning in. I don't usually do this often, but I just didn't know the rules with CDL, VOD, and viewing like that, so figured I'd just do it and see what happens, honestly. EO bands and Blackhawk down, thank you for the follow. That was a big break. Let's see how it happened. Oh, we just killed the guy off time. Pyro, thanks for the follow. So what was it, I was going to do is basically just watch all of the respawn VODs. I got like two, two and a half hours before we have to, like I have to head to the office for scrim stuff, but figure just play it on straight through. Morning, man. You guys look awesome this past weekend. I'm looking forward to the rest of the season. Thank you, man. Honestly, would have loved the win, but the third was nothing to be like disappointed about. We're still in a good headspace with everything. It's just we just have to fix our search. I think everyone knows that. Joe Brown, thanks for the follow too. I'm kind, of, I'm kind of glad they didn't fix uh, Skid Row. I, think, I felt like if there was going to be something that they, they changed or fixed, like the other maps, it would have been the P2. I'm actually really surprised that the P2 stayed. Thought you can show more than two minutes of gameplay. That's what, so I hear that, and then I heard some people were saying that you can only do it if it's the same day or something. So I don't know. We'll see. We'll see if we get uh, any complaints, but... uh. 
for now we'll do it. If I do get a complaint, obviously I'll stop, but we'll see what we'll see what happens. Cause I know I, someone said that enable was able to do it. So if they didn't do anything for his stream, then I think we're safe. Benji, thank you for the follow. And was making plays here. Bro, if you got this last guy in the hill, that would have been fucking nuts. Yeah, this is a mixy rotation. Like, honestly, we had numbers here, but as soon as number five spawns out here, gets this kill, that's like, that's big for them. Because they already have a guy safe, like, back crates. This is unfortunate. Thanks, back out down. Appreciate it. This P5 is also pretty hard to break. Oh, Spanish listening. I mean, they're just holding this well. We just got to, we have to go ahead to new, get to P1. What's it like coaching alongside Karma? It's cool. We do well together, I think. How did it feel to get revenge against Miami? It felt really good. I think all the players really wanted that match for sure. Just because of them being us online. But we wish we could have got the revenge one on phase two. What are you guys doing to fix search? Um, I mean, I won't really go into detail, but it's not even really much strat stuff. Obviously, we're going to change strats, but like it's more getting on the same page mid round. And that's not something like the secret. You can probably see it for just watching our VOD. Thoughts on Rio? Actually, we, we scrimmed that or we tested it out yesterday. And we're going to be continuing to test it out. But I, I really liked it. I thought it was, um, I don't know, just it paced well. It looked good, like, like hill-wise. There were like a couple of iffy spawns, but that's just the game itself. That's like the game system. So it's nothing on the map. So I, I think, honestly, I think we'll be in the rotation for next uh, next stage. I don't know for what, though. I, people are saying they, they don't want Terminal or Invasion in, but I definitely think we'll have Rio in. Matt Zavala and, and Pisto, thank you guys for the follows too. Let me turn this up. I mean, they're just trying to kill this guy to hill. It's just so hard. <clears throat> Yeah, they just they just keep spawning behind you and having the cross. It's it's really hard. Like we're getting so many kills here. I don't even think Ant. Yeah, Ant loses this gunfight. You don't think terminal's that bad in the new update? Yeah, honestly, dude, we played the new terminal for the first time yesterday, and it didn't even look that bad. But people are saying that like, I mean, if there's going to be one that's going to be gone, it's probably that I would assume. But I don't know. I just think Rio will be played. A good play. And sounds low in this. Dude, I thought Kenny was going to lose his gunfight, but yo, this is so unfortunate. So Ken, Ken wins this gunfight somehow, but they t had another person like take a flank too, just straight through laundry. So he just instantly breaks this. It's just... I mean, it's hard to read because you're not expecting two at the same time like that. You think Invasion needs to go? Dude, yeah, dude, why the fuck did they change Invasion P1? I thought that Cafe was a great P1, I'm not going to lie. Yeah, 
Do you feel the patch is better on the old patch in terms of hills, locations, and spawns? Uh, I think some of the locations are better. Like, I think, honestly, I, even though terminal is, like, still bad, like, I still, I, I like the terminal locations better than what it was, like, previously. Invasion. Here, I'll pause this. Invasion. Uh, P1 is worse. I don't like P1 being B Dom. P2 is the same. P3, P3 is the same. Mid court. I mean, if we're talking about the like P4, P5, I think P4, P5 is better on the new invasion just because you don't have to break tree and palace hill. I think those are just like really. I mean, at least P5 was just stupid at break. So at least the, the fact that P5 is not a thing anymore, I think, is a, is a W. Karachi. Um, P1, P2, P3 is the same. P4 is on the street. Honestly, I would have, I would have liked to keep it in the fountain and then had P5 useless or like at that junk area. So, yeah, I don't know. I, I think P4 in the fountain hill was fine. What's your skincare routine looking cute? Like nothing. Maybe some sunscreen in the morning or some shit. <laughs> Uh, forgive Santana and, and uh, is it Cyrus or Esris? Thanks for the follows. Last year as well. A new invasion that P2, P3 chain could go insane. Um, well, the P2, P3 chain could always go insane. Maybe you mean like P3, P4? Because like if you're, if you're basically like holding P3 and then you just push up and then trap him in the palace, then you can, you can get a big chain on P3, P4. Ooks legs, thanks for the follow as well. Damn, we got 50 people in here. Let's go. Yeah, I heard that today, this morning, Benji, actually, that people were saying, oh, Rio's going to be added, but nothing taken out. I don't know the accuracy of that. I haven't heard anything like that. I just heard, I saw one thing on like Twitter or something. I don't know why Vickle didn't YY here. Like he could have he killed, killed Pred for sure. Yeah, AG was going crazy this weekend. Kenny's three piece against FaZe on Invasion was insane. Yeah. Dude, my reaction was insane. Like, I started screaming. I was like, no fucking way. We'll end up watching that later on. They have to hit this because we went off it, but they contested. Ken's huge over here. Ken's huge over here just because they technically could win off the next hold. So if you can just make it a little bit mixy, it's good. Like that kill is huge. That buys time for number three. Number eight gets through though, but like we've still bought a little bit of time for this rotation. Plus we have streaks, like we have double streak. So this is where uh, they call out they're, they're going to double streak. Brandon's like, I got a streak here. And dude, they don't even need it. Ant makes a fucking play. That's good, Prosper. Good calling camo. Why do you think Ant is struggling this year? I don't think Ant's struggling that much. It's not like we have to realize that it's beginning of the game, and a lot of times, well, first the AR is insane in this game. Not taking away anything from the sub, but like it's his first time with AG, and it's his first time like in a predominantly AR game, and a lot of times like quick SMGs like that have a, a slow start so i wouldn't worry anything about anything are you still doing any analysis like you did in bo4 found your old documents when it was data analysis project uh what do you mean by that like those videos like the videos i don't do anymore but similar type things i'll do but not not as much like video content like that Like, Ant makes a fucking play getting this two-piece. We don't even need the streaks, technically, but it just helps it out. But I wish it was on Ant's POV, because apparently he said he shit on, on both these people. Are you glad you can focus on the new, new patch on me on out? Yeah. I'm just excited to, like, actually start practicing it. Like, y yesterday we actually got the first rep on it, but... I mean... We still got to learn the stuff. Let's go to... I'm going to go straight to control. We actually played this Karachi control really well. 
I don't know if this was just like Miami down the dumps, but we played this a lot better than any crotch control we played in like recently. People are exaggerating how y'all are struggling. Y'all finished top three. Yeah, I know. I don't know. There was a lot of after we went 06 that one weekend. People were people were acting kind of crazy. I'm not gonna lie. Who's the IGL Ant or Ken? Uh, Ken is more the IGL for respawn and is the more the IGL for S and D. Testing any new maps? We, we've only tested Rio. I'm not sure if we're gonna be testing Greece, but uh, Rio is for sure being tested and probably if I had a, if I had to guess, it'd be in for next stage. How many big of an impact do you think crews will have since they no longer just be destroyed by trophies? Probably pretty big, especially because a lot of these hills are now open. So, like, I think it'll be a really big change. How do you get your game data OCR on the minimap on something? Uh, yeah, OCR, basically a scoreboard minimap. Mostly scoreboard. Minimap is a little bit harder to do unless you have the big minimap, but yeah, basically. Subbase control that initial spawns have flipped. Uh, I haven't heard any talks about it, but that's an interesting take. Because I heard, I heard once the spawns were flipped, it was actually pretty decent. I heard Greece wasn't being added, which is a shame. Yeah, I, I definitely don't think... Well, we haven't tested it out. And if, it, if we haven't tested it out, I doubt it's going to be. But again, Rio most, most likely will be in, if I had to guess. Thank you, Murder. Appreciate that, man. This is a big play by Ant. I'm getting through here, getting this two piece is really big. Oh, he gets the third, too. Now we know where they're spawning. Ooh, he got that kill, too. Especially on this map, if it gets really sketchy if you don't like get A right off the rip. Or if like your B hit doesn't work and you don't get any ticks there, you can get you can get really sketchy. Whose idea was it to try hard, a sub base hard point after scrims? I mean, I think it was kind of everyone's uh, idea where it was like, dude, our, our scrims on sub base hard point at the event were insane. And I don't know what the fuck happened because, dude, just a few days before, they were really like, I'd rather chop my balls off than play sub base. And then we get to the event and start scrimming it. And I don't know, it just turned into this super confidence pick for some reason. Unfortunately, all the hard points are getting changed, so. Or not all the hard points, but like that map's getting changed. So we have to adapt to it. But the fact that it just like came online during the event was kind of crazy. Does Optic have an IT department for production or is it all Matt Craig? Um, I'm not sure about the production. Matt Craig does a lot of it. I'm not sure if there's a dedicated like department for it though. When Shotzi threw the smoke on Bomb Karachi to cover the fuse, it was lit. Yeah, I I was mind blown when he, when they did that because I could hear the comms, and I heard him say like, "Oh, I'm smoking this," and then I saw the feed, and I was like, "I mean, that shit's landing on top of the roof, right? Or like on top of diner or some shit." And it was perfect. I don't I don't know how he did it. Sixteen to seven. This is this is over. We played this we played this defense pretty well, like really well actually. We'll skip to the offense. Oh, 
For some reason, I thought he got that kill. I don't know why I remember that differently. This was a great calm. Holy shit. This hap this calm happened like right now. As soon as like someone said, or I think it was AG. He's like, oh, he could be pinching top three. Instantly, Brandon turns. Insane calm. Does does Karma have a specific role as coach? For example, is he here to improve S and D specifically, or do you both share work? No, we both share. Like we just give any thoughts that we have. Morning, coach. What's good, Mikey G? Are they bringing sub base back? Uh, yeah, I don't think I don't think sub base is being removed. If there's going to be something that's removed, it's either going to be terminal or invasion. If my in my opinion, it's probably going to be terminal. But again, like someone said before, at the terminal. Holy shit! He won this with a sub. Nah, this is what I'm saying with, like, the rival might be crazy. But yeah, terminal, like, the, the new terminal isn't even that bad. Like, it's definitely better than the last terminal. It's just, I think, maybe the weakest of the maps now. I don't know. What's good, Joey? Oh, yeah, I guess another sub, I guess. Yeah, you're right. Do you plan on working your map pool f this major qualifier, or do you think you're fine for now? Uh, Well, we first have to test all the maps and see what we're good at, because, like, honestly, some of these changed, like, pretty significantly, like two or three hills, so... Just because you were good at the map before doesn't really necessarily mean you're good at the map now. Hell yeah, dude, Joey. It was 70 degrees yesterday. Of course, I'm coming in like it's summer. Pred has an insane shot. Yeah, he does. You just need one tick. Would you ever consider going on over VOD on stream with one of the boys? Uh, maybe if they want to do it. I don't know if they would want to do that though. That was good teamwork. Look at the trades. Oh, unfortunate. People usually don't look at that front door. That's probably why he took that timing. The front door is usually like a blind spot. Hey, what's good, Flash? Thanks for the sub. Appreciate that. Big two-piece by Brandon. Look at this two-piece. He kills him off the godhead. Oh, like he takes off. Oh, wow. He actually left the godhead. Oh, he killed this guy off the godhead. And then Metals tries to change him. This two piece won us the, the round for sure. I heard Florida doesn't have many data centers, and that ping is pretty bad all over Florida. Any truth to that? Um, I have no idea, but when we play Miami. We play them on an Atlanta server, and it's like it's kind of even, maybe a little bit better for them, but it's it's basically even when we play them online. Have you seen the layouts of the new maps? Uh, oh, of the new new maps, like season two? No, I haven't seen them yet. Maybe I'll look at them in a minute. Thoughts on Optic following other top teams and pick up some kind of performance coach? I wouldn't mind it. I had I had a uh, the same performance coach when I was at, at New York, and he was cool. I, I liked working with him, so I mean, I'd be open to it. I don't know if like the team would be like not the team as in the players, but the team like the organization because it is. Uh, I mean, it could be costly. I, I have no idea. What server do you play on versus Phase? Because that ping on your last match was crazy. We play him on Chicago server. And I don't know, they were like, 
we were ping for the at least the high-rise control that's the only one that i knew uh, maybe it was the whole series i don't know the, the only one that i was aware of was during the high-rise control where they were just like it was really bad apparently it was in the in the first two maps as well but when they were going to like 70s was when it was the high-rise control and we were like what the fuck's going on performance coach is most more like mental side um having meetings talking with them just to improve their like mindset on everything maybe lifestyle as well like things out of the game really Would you ever get an S and D coach? Uh, I don't know. Probably not. It depends on. I mean, what everyone thinks. They hit us with the B cheese break again. I remember them doing this in the online match as well. But they get stuffed here. I'm pretty sure. Or maybe not. Oh, he killed Ant like that? They don't cap this, right? There's no way. I'm pretty sure we get back on it. Yeah, we do right here. They really want this B. They spawn close and they're just like... Are they... Right now, at this point, after this, this death happens, they're probably just like, let's just guarantee A. Yeah, definitely. You just have to take what you, you're given. This is a good play by Ant. Does he get the one on point as well? Oh, how did Metals kill him? Oh, we should have hit the guy in point, I think. Oh, a huge three-piece by Kenny, though. And they're just solo capping. Get him off point. They're good. What's up with the broken spawns in Terminal? Dude, Terminal is just weird freaking spawns. It's just the game sometimes. Kenny seems to be better at not YYing as much last year. Um, he still YYs a pretty decent amount. I don't remember how much he would YY last year. I remember him doing a pretty decent amount, but he still does a pretty good amount. I wish there were more than five major or four majors, technically five with chance, but it's not enough, especially since we had a, such a long break in between seasons. I agree. I think the fact that they took away a major was kind of whack, but you got to make with what you what you get. So I don't know. It just coming from CWL days and all the way back then, we would literally have a tournament like every month, and now we're having five the entire year, like a whole twelve month span. We're having five. That's that's crazy. Have you all scrimmed on the new patch? Uh, yeah, we scrimmed once uh, yesterday. We only had one set because we were supposed to play Boston, but Austin was sick, apparently. So we only had the second set, and it went well. I thought but the new changes, some of the new changes were weird, but a lot of them were actually probably positive, I think. Plus, Rio, I think, is, is a good map. I was saying that before, but I think, I think Rio will be a, a map. Let me see the end of this here. Like, why are they not just hitting the point? Like, they got a 6v3. Oh, they're trying to spawn kill Kenny, but I don't know. You're just kind of like, fuck now. Because number five tried to hit the point. Now it's 5v2. How are the spawns? Um, they're, I mean, there's still whack spawns, like, for terminal and shit. And I think the Invasion P2 spawns are still kind of similar. In terms of, like, the parallel stuff. I think it's just the game system. I don't think the maps are really going to change it. Because it was still happening on like Rio and shit too. Let me go to the next match. 
Uh, what was was phase next? Why did I think I, we had a match after? Or why did I think we had a match in between? Maybe not. So this was our first sub base in a match as a team. How do you think the events in League will run now that with the skeleton staff they have, does it affect matches in any way? I have no idea. Because there's a lot of people that like go into those match days that I have no idea how it's going to work. What was it, like 12 people left? It's going to be very bare bones. I, I, don't, I actually don't know how it's going to work. Some people were saying maybe they're just going to hire the people as independent contractors, which is kind of fucked, but I mean, they're just trying to save money not having to pay insurance which is really fucked but i don't know i have no idea like if the if those people don't come back i i don't know how it runs i'm not gonna lie they're gonna have to change up the system i guess phase was scary this event and the boys play them so well yeah we we played them really well in the first series and hard points uh, it's just unfortunately we couldn't get a, a hard point win in the second series even though our hard point was really good all weekend like i'm not gonna lie dude and you'll probably see this in like the process. Our scrims, um, like the days before the match, like at LAN, like that, that, what was it, Wednesday and Thursday? Or Wednesday and Tuesday and Wednesday, maybe? Wednesday? Definitely the Wednesday were just not good. So it was like a really, it was a really big spark for them to get that first uh, win versus uh, Miami and, on Skid Row. And then we, after that Skid Row hard point, we were looking completely dominant in hard point. But like right before that match, we were we were doing pretty poorly, and I don't know what was going on, but it was a it was a big big change, and then like something like instantly sparked, and they started playing on real. Criticizing Shotzi's gameplay, saying he was over and not playing with his team this weekend. How did you just get corrected, and do you agree with those takes? I mean, there's some situations where he could be more conservative, but a lot of the times he's doing something on the map to help other people get kills, if that makes sense. Like, even if he... Okay, like, even if he dies, he's getting them weak so that the next person in line can get that kill. Or, like... You know, putting that extra pressure on so that there's another layer. So, like, if he dies, whatever, he spawns back up and he's still in the gunfight when the person comes, like, to the hill or whatever. It's, I mean, there are situations, sure, but for the majority of the cases, people are just tweaking. Handy Bomb, hey, thank you for the for the sub, man. How vibey is this team? It has to be so much fun to work with. Yeah, they're actually really vibey. Really, really fun group to work with look at ag being a little cred ball in his corner P4 was really good. Pressure shots you can put on the map is nuts. Like you say, even if he's dying, the other team is still having to look for him constantly. Yeah. He definitely puts pressure. He like similar to other players like Abizi, Kismet. Yeah, like Ronnie said. It, it's not even struggling with the game. I, I think it's struggling with... First of all, it's the first major... And usually those people, I mean, usually the subs are the the last ones to like fully figure out what they need to do because they're making so many plays, because they're taking so many risks. And also like, I don't know, the maps are really AR dominant. So it's, I don't know, it, it is kind of hard sometimes when you're trying to make plays or create space for the rest of your team. 
does not have enough help to actually get into the hill. So this is already still good for me keeping this hard point neutral. Just Will you guys not scrim certain teams because of future matchups, or does that only really apply before land? Uh, no, a lot of teams, and usually we're down to scrim anyone, maybe not like one one week before, but some teams don't like scrimming even two weeks before their match. So that's usually what the case is. Like usually you won't scrim them two weeks before. Thoughts on Ant's performance as major? I mean, he could have had a better event, but like he's still doing a lot of impact stuff for our team. Like our hard point isn't as good if Ant doesn't play the way he does. Like. People were, we were overacting. And wait, we're not even talking about like, I don't know, the search, like we haven't been, we didn't do that well in search, but he is really important for our search in terms of calls and stuff, like play calls. And what I, what I was saying before is like our search is kind of, I don't, I don't want to say flopping, but like it's, it's, Mid round, it's it's kind of I don't even know how to put it. It's just like breaking down mid round, and that has nothing to do with the play call at the start of the round. Usually, it's just how we're playing mid round or adjusting. And that's not on one person to say like, oh, we got to do this. It's like everyone being on the same page on what they want to do. Because people might have different mindsets on what we should do in X situation. You know what I'm saying? Was OG, MW2, AR dominant with map size and slow movement? Um, yeah, but also you'd have the perk system where you could run like marathon lightweight and shit as a sub. And it'd be... Like you'd have more role-based role, role -based type things in, in old OG, MW2, I'm pretty sure. This is a huge hill. Dude, AG gets so hyped in the comms compared to like... Online matches, something in, on about like being on stage and on land gets him like super hype, which I get. What was you and Damon's reaction when you saw Shotty land that smoke on AG while he was defusing? Dude, I was fucking mind blown. I just want to say, or I just saw so many people saying he should be dropped and how he's a bad teammate, bro. Ant's like one of the best teammates ever. <laughs> Like, people are tweaking, dude. Just, everyone's got to chill. Yeah, I would say the high rise, it, it, they kind of look confused just because, I don't know, they weren't, they weren't as comfortable on high rise. I, I don't know, like, it's kind of hindsight, but we're like, should we play high rise or Karachi? Um, and they were more comfortable on high rise, but I don't even think they were more comfortable. Hey, what's good? What's this, Sam? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, let me know if there's like a Discord or something. I'm down. I'll join whatever. Let me open Discord real quick. Biggest thing for the squad to work on, from my opinion, maybe consistency. Um, no, just like I was saying with search before, just being being on the same page mid round in search. It's not even the start. It's it's more so like knowing what the fuck they want to do in situations in the middle of the round. Like even in advantageous situations, even if it's like not even just four v threes, but like three v threes that are that should be in our favor. You know what I'm saying? Uh, you're the MM. All right, all right. All right, we should have Sam Octane LaRue join the stream in a second. Thank you, everyone, for the follows, by the way, too. Appreciate you guys. How was Damon as a coach? He got a lot of crap last year, but I was excited for his role. Dude, everyone was ragging on Damon last year 
But it was like, dude, he just came in the team and it's not like he was changing how he played or anything. We just didn't play well in the last two major or in what was it? Major five and champs or yeah, major five and champs. So it was like, dude, he was getting all this shit for it, but it's like, it wasn't anything he was doing. Alright, I'm joining Sam's Discord. If only Dashy could bring out the boomstick, yeah. Yeah, no, snipes are fucking crazy in this game, honestly. <laughs> so I'm I'm not surprised. Join any of the voice chats? Alright. Yeah, what's good? What's good? What's going on? I see you fucking. You're breaking the law. I love that. I'm breaking. <laughs> we'll see how long we do this for, but no slap on the wrist yet. Mind if I piggyback off you? Nah, you're good. Fantastic. Let me just tweet this out. Are you watching anything specific, or are you just going through all y'all's matches? Uh, just uh, all our matches, all our respawns. I would say. Okay. Yeah, I wanted to do it, but like the whole fucking game is different at this point. So is it really? <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That that's exactly actually why I wanted to do it because it's like I'm not. Have you guys uh, started scrims yet? Uh, yeah, we had our first set yesterday, and Did you enjoy it. Honestly, like I thought a lot of the changes were for, for the better, and I think Rio is fucking really good. Dude, Rio is ace. Like actually, I'm actually so glad that that teams are testing it out because usually you know they're fucking super bad with that stuff, you know. Nah, it's bad, bro. It's uh the fucking I was I was surprised because I saw what was it Geo's team playing Carolina yesterday. And I was surprised the teams pick, were picking it up that quick. Usually, there's like some pushback when it comes to testing maps. Yeah, well, let me turn you up a little bit. I saw I don't know who I saw a clip that someone said that uh they're not replacing any maps and they're just thinking about adding it into the pool. Dude, I saw that too. Uh, let me know if his his insane, audio is still no? good too. That that does sound insane. Like I would assume if if something was gonna t get, get taken out, it was gonna be terminal or or like yeah. invasion or something. But new honestly, terminals. I think. What do you think about new terminal? It's like okay, but I don't understand this like weird. Like you probably noticed it. There's like this weird like parallel spawn fetish that they have with the yeah subject. like fucking invasion p4. You just spawn behind each other castle like. Fucking terminal, you spawn behind each other. Security sub base, you spawn behind each other. Yeah, security. it's it's just the game system at that point. Like that's what I was thinking. Like, I honestly like the new terminal better, but like the the wax spawns are just the wax spawns because the game. I feel like it's not oh, even. Yeah, it has nothing to do with. It's not terminal. Yeah, yeah. Certain hills that are just like fucking insane for no reason. Yeah, no, I agree. I think I think new terminal is actually better, but I I just think it's the worst out of all of them, honestly. Yeah, I think it flows a lot better than. Um, previous versions for sure just moving people around the map instead of like perma spawning security the whole time yeah and chat rio also had the parallel spawn thing too we only played it once but i did see it like a couple times yeah i've been i've played like i think two or three reps of hardpoint on that map but S D is actually super fun really yet, no we haven't played search yet but fun on that map. people people are saying to try out for search and i'm down because like very very good S D map it just looks like a it. map that would be good in, as as comp so i'm surprised that like I don't know no, Who, whoever whoever made that shit was kind of cooking. I'm not gonna lie. Like, <laughs> did you see the what, what was the the, name of it? the fucking overlays they tweeted? Not overlays, but the the maps they tweeted yesterday. There was one of them that actually looks pretty good. Let me see. I don't remember the name of it. Yeah, I forgot the name of the map, but I think Breaking Point might have tweeted it. It was like the four maps that are coming. Break one of them actually looks really good. Yo, are they are the Slammer, Sledgehammer cooking now? Like, bro, Sledgehammer is godlike. Because yeah. this Rio, we we were joking like it's a fucking Overwatch map, but then we played and we're like, oh shit, like. Yeah, no, it's it's good, dude. Let me see if I can find it. Hold on. Yeah, it is. Oh, Vista. Yeah, this Vista yeah, map looks cool. Yeah, 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 yeah. That's it. That map actually looks pretty decent. Yeah, it does. Wait, did you see this uh this P one? 
How we yeah, flip out? Man, dude, everyone was tweaking because I was <laughs> everyone was yelling at me in my chat that Bruce was snaking when he got the two piece here when he went to the left box. Everyone's like, dude, he's fucking snaking. I went back and looking like crouched twice. Bro. <laughs> there I mean, people I'm gonna say it, people are abusing this pump shit, dude. Oh, no, there's so many I times mean, in rather, scrims, bro. Not, you know? Yeah, no, but there's so many times in scrims where like you know you're like uh top right crates on Skidrow P five, you know that yeah. box? And you're just yeah. like double pump lay down for like you know maybe two seconds double pump yep. again just to get info it's like are we not considering this snaking like well, what are yeah, we doing here you know it has to be like a grace period you get two pumps per life <laughs> straight <laughs> up like dude I the amount of times i st- like that is fucking oh incredible. yeah i was actually tweaking during the watch party i was like holy shit no one's watching this holy shit no one's- oh we just won the game <laughs> i couldn't believe we got out but I don't, I don't know if you saw ken's video but dude we Watch just we just started getting godlike at sub base at the event. <laughs> it was like the funniest shit because we were like, yeah, you guys didn't really play it prior to. Bro, the we that was our auto veto. Yeah, you guys didn't. Two it. two days before I I because we were playing we were playing like phase or something, and I remember they had lost to Carolina on this map, and I was like, oh yeah, that that map doesn't like change your opinion on it, right? And like two of them go like, I'd rather chop my balls off than play some bass or some shit. <laughs> and I think that was AG's like exact words. So I was like, I don't fucking bet. But that's just one of those things where you show up to the event, you're like winning it in scrims. You're like, yeah, oh, I can play this shit. Exactly. Yeah. Now that wasn't. I can't believe Ant got out there, dude. As soon as he got out of tunnel, before he even got a kill, I was like, oh, he's actually about to win in the map. Yeah. Dude, Ant was making play it. Dude, people are. Sh- Why is Ant getting so much shit? Ant-, Ant only gets so much shit because he makes like the takes takes the risks that he needs to. You know what I'm saying? Like he doesn't. He just doesn't have the KD. Yeah. Like, to justify like. When he I mean, poorly. like I said before, there yeah, I mean, I'm, there I'm are. Really s- that he makes plays. Yeah, there are some times where like he could be more conservative, but shit, like he just sets everyone up or a lot of people up better. I'm sure you've seen the fucking. I've been I've been fucking with Bruce for the last like couple of days over all that shit that fucking Pat was saying. Uh, I didn't I didn't hear what Pat was saying. What was he saying? He's just saying that Brandon needs to go back to Killhorn. Oh, that's bullshit, dude. Brandon, dude, something. He plays, literally, he's been playing so well. He's he like he realized what was it middle of last year or whenever he came back to the team. Like he realized what the fuck he needed to do, and like what to do to win, and that was like. I mean, it was very evident. Like, it was probably, very like, evident. Like, Dan joined, probably. It was like, yeah. I, I noticed it the most. You could see, like, his play style change to be conducive to, like, what we needed to do to win. Yeah. But, yeah, Pat was basically saying, like, he's too talented to be fucking default <laughs> to the hill. Like, fucking go do all this. Like, all right, yeah, yeah. Nah, FaZe played this map really well. These guys are godlike at this moment. Yeah, the thing is, like, we... This, is, this has got to be auto vetoed against them. It's yeah, so, we so good at this we map. just do so well in scrims versus this map, but we don't play phase that much. And they, just, they, they don't fuck up their four downs on offense. Yeah, exactly. That's the biggest thing with this, where, where I saw it was, like, they get a 3-4 down, it's fucking chalk because they're already pushed up in your windows and you're fucked. Like, like none of them throw their lives away when they're going for the spawn trap. They're always getting at least two. So, like, just the, the timing of it, you already lose yeah. the point. I've, I've, I think I've seen them play this map like what two or three times and every time they get an offense for dead they like the round ends immediately yeah but kudos to you guys you did it right back I think the following round yeah no this this next offense was good but that the rest of the map wasn't but honestly this gave us a chance to like open up our invasion because like we we had never we never played invasion in our map either but we weren't like yeah, you guys first we weren't like that. not trying to play you know what I'm saying we were yeah. We were always like decent on it in scrims and stuff. So we were just like, if we have to pull it out, we'll, have, we'll pull it out. And we did, and yeah. I think it worked out. So, dude, I, I mean, this is probably a fucking team question. I'll have to answer it. But like, after you guys <clears> played <throat> phase and then the double high rise videos for the rest of the weekend, was that just like, fuck, fucking hate these maps? Like, we're not playing this? Yeah, yeah. We're just but, like, not trying to deal with any RNG bullshit. You know what I'm saying? That's what I figured. It's like, I, yeah. I was curious going into y'all. Was it Seattle after you guys lost the Was it Seattle after you guys lost the phase? Um, I think it was. Yeah, yeah, Seattle first. Yeah, and you guys double vetoed high rise and left double terminal in, and I was like, oh, these guys got the yips from the phase series, dude. They don't want to play that shit at all. No, nah, it it was it started with just like, okay, next series we won't play it, but like we'll be down to play it later on. But then we we're just like, yeah, oh, yeah, might as well just cool keep down. it. Nothing like permanent, obviously. You got team A every time. Yeah, teams were giving us team A. I think. Which one do you think is better right now? Um, I, I think it's, I think it's, it depends on your team. Like uh, yeah, whether you got like a hard point team B is fucking unbelievable. I, I think it's like, yeah, it depends on like 
what your team likes, whether you like that comfort pick map one to get you going or whether you like the good side map one and then you come to yeah. later on. So it, it all depends, like preference, honestly. I feel like it changes every year, like whether team A or team B is good. Like last year, team yeah. A was fucking unbelievable. Like the good thing with team A too is like you get side picks map two, three, four. Yeah. But the thing of like people like B is because like you get your search pick. And if, yeah. if your search pick is like really good, then you can abuse that. I was like, when I when I saw the vetoes for the, because I was actually, I was like trying to like deduce what you guys were going to do for that Seattle series. Mm. I saw the vetoes and I was like, ah, double terminal. Like, I don't know how I feel about this shit. And then I remembered, I think you guys played them online and absolutely pissed on them on terminal hardpoint. I was like, okay, that's probably the reasoning for wanting to play it again. Yeah. And for term S and D, I was like, oh, dude, they're so, they don't want to play high rise at all. Yeah. Yeah. That, that was the high rise thing. But the terminal hardpoint was like, we never felt like we should veto it because it's like, yeah, you guys are good at that. We're, we're good at it. So it's not like, yeah. Yeah. We were just like, if we're the better team, we can play them on it for sure. Yeah. But yeah, that that was a good two offenses, and then this is where things kind of go wrong. Yeah, they just fucking take over. Dude, we gotta talk about invasion control. Oh, I, I like. I think teams got better at it. Yeah. Over to like the last, I don't know, like three, three or four weeks probably. But like, dude, from the beginning, literally the beginning of the season, I was like, I was just watching every single invasion control and just everyone would default beat off rip, and I'm just sitting here like actually pulling my hair out. <laughs> And just the way people play offense in general on that map is just I, so I, I think it's more that. I think it's like, I don't know, it's, it's, so it's, it's like, make it fucking simple. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's a lot of things that people are doing that are just like, you don't need you to don't do need all that shit. shit. You don't need to do all that shit. I mean, if we end up watching an invasion, we can talk about it. But like, yeah, it took, it took a month for people to actually go A on that map, which blew my fucking mind. And then people still, for whatever reason, on offense, decide to wrap the guy bridge and waste like 45 seconds. And then potentially not even kill him and just lose the round anyway without touching the point. Yeah. Like that shit just fucking makes no sense to me. Ake said Shotzi should be hill bitch, by the way. Yeah. I think I don't think he said that. Oh, okay. Him, but it was more like they should be sharing the load and not Brandon just be defaulting to the hill. But I'm like, I don't even know why we're addressing Hardpoint when <laughs> Search and Destroy was like very clear. Yeah, it was literally the search. I don't know. One second. Uh, why did you not choose invasion map one? So phase has to give you good side terminal because they don't have to pick terminal. I could have picked skid row map four. But that was a team decision. That was like, we, that was their auto veto. They didn't want to play that shit. We knew they were going to ban sub base. So like, yeah. we were trying to put them in a situation where it's like, oh, we don't want to play this map either. And even if we were good terminal, side, like terminal fucking game of chicken. Yeah. And it was like, dude, we, it wasn't even that we were bad side. Like we went into the second rotation tied. So it was, it was just our holds at the end of the game. It's necessarily that bad on them. Yeah. It's like, if, if you can just make the first P, pre one P two mixy, it's like, yeah. You might as well have started. Like it's really, it's, tr it's truthfully not that hard to flip the first P1. Like if you get it, if you get a kill after you chow the corner, like around the corner, if you get that kill, you're gonna flip most of the time. Yeah, it's just like actually winning that initial fight. I mean, and like on the hills. The I mean, the, the side thing really starts during the first burger hill. Like that's where it's really like, yeah. I don't know. Like after the first P1, P2, it's like if you get get fucked burger hill and then go into the P5 and then the P1, P2. Like that's four hills in a row. But like. Yeah, I agree with that. A new terminal that doesn't even—that's not really a thing. Cause you're just like flipping out entirely now. <laughs> I'm hoping Rio control is decent. Observing invasion control drains life out of me. <laughs> is right? Is Rio control good or is? I've actually never played it. I don't even know where the points are on that map. I think no, no, no. I think one of them is top mid. 
like just like literally the top middle platform of the map and i think the other one is where like where the van is on the far left side and where the bomb site is i think it's a bomb oh okay i think the other one's right there i think that map's gonna be good man i hope that they actually replace the map because if they don't then videos are gonna get weird How yeah do I, don't, I don't like six map stuff it makes it it does make it weird Plus, there's just a lot, bro. Being good at six hard points is fucking... That's a lot. Yeah. Also, like, where did that rumor start from? Like, where... Like, who heard uh, that? I don't know. I don't know who's streaming. I didn't... I didn't, literally didn't unmute the clip. All I saw was, like, gameplay. And so oh, okay. Saying, I don't know. I actually don't know who streaming was. But, yeah, someone said that, like, it could just be in the map pool. Nah, just, yeah, three or four downs on this map are just... As long as you don't absolutely scam your life away, the round just ends immediately. Yeah. It's just so hard. I don't know what it is. Like, I, I don't, like... I guess there's just fucking gunny, but I swear when, when FaZe gets three or four down on either side on this map, it is just, like, the round just ends immediately. <laughs> like, no one is able to get out of that trap from what I've watched so far. It's a ratty angle. Fucking stairs. Is that a stair glitch? That <laughs> yes. <laughs> Wait, also, that's another thing. There are a lot of stair glitches that people are just... There's so many. There's so many. I can't believe that conversation hadn't been had either. It's just like, is it actually G8 or are we just going to do it? Like, what do you Same mean? with like, dude, same with Sound EQ on online, bro. Teams are using that shit. Oh, no, 100% teams are using it. I saw Ken's tweet the other day. Or was it yesterday? He's like, I'm oh, back to using fucking Covert. <laughs> I know teams are going to use that shit. If he got that kill, that would have been the only Dude, opening. I loved FaZe's play here, by the way. I loved this. I was like, during the watch party, I was just screaming, like, please leave him. Like, please fucking just go to their base. And <laughs> yeah. they actually did. Yeah. I feel like no teams, like, this oper like this exact moment happens, like, probably once a map, and nobody ever does this play. Everyone will always, like, go look for Ant. Try and find him. Like, yeah. yeah, one person will die, like, in their spawn. They get map control. Ant might get, like, a weird kill. Then they're on A, and then the round ends, like... I feel like nobody actually just goes and spawn kills. Yeah. I feel like he probably should have just hopped the point once he shot, though. Low key. Just like try to force somebody to come back. Yeah, yeah. I agree. Dude, what do you think about new P1? Why the fuck did they change it from Cafe? I thought Cafe was a great P1. P1 was the best hill on this map. That's what I'm saying. Like, <laughs> it's a good, was actually the best it's hill. a good starter hill. It's easy to break if you can like teamwork it. Like, yeah. No, P1 was actually the best hill on this map. I don't know why they moved it. I don't know. There's a couple of questionable hills. Like, they ruined Karachi. That map is terrible. Hey, thanks for the follow or the right sub avocado, avocado Bandit. Thank you, my man. I think it was like unequivocally the best map prior to the update. But I don't know why they changed P1 on this map. There's like also like three contest spots on P1 that are like dude. Insane. I dude we we practiced for the first time. There's like this little like garbage can contest spot back here. And I'm like, what the fuck is this? You can contest behind DVD and you can contest behind like the palm tree. Like laying yeah, the, the behind tree DVD stuff. one was the one I saw. I was like, yeah, yeah. dude, are we actually? Using yeah, there's one there, and there's one on the other side, like towards AS and D, that you can contest on too. It's fucking insane. I thought. Karachi P4 should have been in the fountain. I don't. I didn't mind the fountain hill either. Just made it bigger. Yeah. Just make it the whole bottom floor. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. I agree. And then, like maybe I actually don't mind where P5 is. I think I think Junk should have had a hill. I actually don't hate that because like the, there's like multiple ways to break it, but I don't know. As a coach, what do you say to Kenny after what he does in this map? I say he's fucking amazing. <laughs> he's, he's the fucking. Hey, thank you. Kenny. He's absolutely disgusting. Like what? Wait, so is uh in this new patch is mannequin spawn not a thing anymore? On what hill? On, On this P two? Uh, I don't. I, I didn't see yesterday. It was all blue and like treehouse. You spawn blue. Yeah, you spawn blue treehouse. Yeah, treehouse. that's what I. You don't spawn out mannequin ever. Yeah. 
I think the only time you do is if there's like everybody alive and like every part of the map on the rotation kind of thing when the hill's popping. Yeah. But most of the time you just want treehouse or you spawn ice cream. The P the P three on this map is also fucking insane. You just spawn behind each other palace over and over again. Yeah. Also, yeah, it's also like probably the most important hill on this map now. I would say it even was probably one of the more important ones before. Because like you get a good P three, you can chain the P four, and it's like if you get in that winning situation where you're one ninety, like you can just play. Yeah. The palace. I feel like teams have done a really good job of like neutralizing the money hills. Yeah. Like you have like the full like on Skid Row, for example, like people play P2 so heavily that they <clears> will <throat> literally give up a full 60 on P1 <laughs> for one hit at it and get full 60. I'm like, that just completely. You're literally, you're just P2. trading now. You're yeah, just trading. Like at that point, what the fuck is the point of having P2 rotation? Like, Thoughts on the courtyard hill? I think it's kind of cool, but way too big. There's That's another hill that has some crazy contest spots. Yeah. Like the, the motorcycle on the left side, then the wall in front of the like dark on the other side of the hop up. There's like a little angle you can land to and just not get killed at ever. As this game has so many goddamn parallel spawns. Yeah, welcome to MW3. I'm just glad we don't have to try and break P4 or P5 anymore on this map. That shit was. Yeah, Palace still needed to go, for sure. I mean. <laughs> You're going into oh, that in the last hill. If I'm if I'm a player going into that, I'm just like, oh, fuck, dude. We gotta fucking break this shit. You know what I'm saying, like, dude? I don't know what it is. Like, whenever it's that situation where like you're going to a round five offense, you're going into the unbreakable hill to win the game. Like, I feel like that shit happens, dude. Sometimes, yeah, it, it does do. It does happen for sure. Like a team, like the team holding, just like oh, in a scrim so though, in a scrim, oh, in a you're scrim, never you're you're never touching you're never it. Touching it. Yeah, yeah, you're never touching it. When something's on the line, you're 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 making yeah, it work. Someone's <laughs> Someone's playing a spot they've never been in before and dying. Bro, I, there was like a couple of scrims like right at the beginning where it was just like they went off new and were just like, well, they they won the map. <laughs> yeah, it's and just like, and the fucking map. Is there time to test Vista? That won't be discussed until probably Major 3. There's not going to be any more map additions other than potentially Rio for this cycle. It was such a big kill here by Ant. Dude, I can't believe Zach killed him. Yeah. I got the insta trade, but holy shit. Like, someone needed to trade him, and God. Oh yeah, that's true. They did change the spawns when or the the game when ranked came out. Huh? You guys, we never had to play that old dog shit game. <laughs> I imagine trying to break fucking palace and ranked. Jesus. <laughs> I mean, that would be insane. What's up, James? Like, why did they change P1? It was actually the best. It was so oh, good. They made it to... F Dude, now it's going to be the fucking contest fest white time bullshit. And you spawn on both sides all the time. It's like, impossible to secure I'm actually P1. so mind... Like, no one asked for that. That's the weird thing, you know? Like... Yeah. They didn't ask for the crotch. It changes either, but they just said, fuck it. <laughs> AG played so well this entire weekend. Yeah. He's actually fucking untouchable. I was I was telling people before, but his intensity in land matches is like double for that at like online matches and scrims. And it's like, oh yeah, of course. it's insane. Like, he's, bro, he's actually super vocal too. Like, I yeah. he called out well. I knew his comms were good. He, but, like, it's he it's different in a match though. Like, yeah, he's going nuts. He's going crazy in, in matches. Ken are just like shrieking. I think I heard Ant like maybe two times the whole weekend. <laughs> But the thing is, like, like, 
and we'll, and we'll take a backseat and respawn, but he's he's basically calling everything in search, like oh, yeah, at no, the beginning of the round. So the way, the way Ant plays search is so sick, dude. He's so good at it. Which is like I hate like, I mean obviously you want everyone to be good at everything all the time, but like I feel like you guys have like very good, uh, like trade offs. Like Ant's the definitive playmaker in S and D, which can be a bad thing. Like if he's not if he's getting shut down on a map, like sometimes mm -hmm. you guys get a little stagnant. Yeah. But, I think just like the way you guys play, I think it's like really good because everyone doesn't have to be fucking godlike all the time. You guys also love Invasion S and D. If I have to watch you guys play Invasion <laughs> S and D one more fucking time, dude, it's in every series. Yeah, they they like playing it. Is Invasion just like? It's unfortunate that like there was just so many. Yeah, dude. I mean, Invasion Karachi are the only S and D maps people play. Because bro, like, Skid Row's ass, Terminal's ass, High Rise is like, I mean. High res is kind of ass because it's just like so straight up. I'm surprised people don't play more high res. To be I'm, yeah, I'm honestly surprised too. But Skid Row and, and Terminal for sure should be gone. I'm not gonna like. I'm not gonna sugarcoat that shit. Both those maps, know, fucking. Like, at the beginning of the season, I would have agreed about Terminal. Skid Row, I think is terrible. Skid oh yes, yeah, Skid, Skid Row, Skid Row for sure. Like, actually, at the beginning of the season, I think <laughs> Terminal was like way worse than it is now because teams know on offense you just gotta hit some shit. Like, yeah. Offense is just a, a pure fucking running gun, and I think like once people stop doing like going dreams and doing nothing instead of like just banging B like Seattle does every round or fucking running into plane like, the map's like actually yeah there, Skid Row should 100% be no, taken out terrible. for Rio that, that, that map is irredeemable that map sucks I don't I don't even know how that made it in in the first place yeah like with sub base search that bad I don't even know where the bomb sets it but it can't be worse than Skid Row like yeah no Skid Row's Skid Row's fucking misery that's why I think Rio should replace it yeah, I think Skid Row is. I agree, one hundred percent. Like, if you just never see a map in a series, like it shouldn't be in the game. Yeah, I actually don't hate Terminal. Yeah, Invasions have got to be like the the ego child map for every team. Like everybody wants to play it and has no issues playing it. Yeah. And I think I just think Karachi is like the best search map in the game. Like, oh, dude, no, it's I'm it's so much better than everything else. Like the thing with the thing with invasion, that's the like the bad thing is because it's like so big, the the playmaking abilities aren't as like apparent. Like when's the last time you saw a two v four on invasion? That's just just like yeah, impossible. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, there's a couple almost in y'all series. Yeah, I mean, a couple almost. <laughs> yeah, I like Karachi a lot. Little, little just, close ones. There's some like the way that some teams play defense like you guys are pretty good at that map because like ants just running through middle fucking making plays but like the way that some teams play defense i hate because you have like two options you either give up b and like play up mid mm -hmm. and like play the retakes like you guys like to do a lot or you play up b heavy and like play back middle and like play aggressive a side and there's teams that do neither they're like play back on b and they don't play mid aggressive <clears> and they just get a b down and then you just lose the round yeah like you guys are pretty good at like playing on mid and shit for the most part and I just there's other teams that are just making zero plays on that map and losing. Here we go, chat. Wait, yeah, by the way, I watched Ken's video this morning. Is this pistol not fucking godlike? <laughs> this shit is insane. The kills I see. It's unbelievable, it's unbelievable bro. It's so good. And dying the wall bang there kind of sucks, but it's fucking terrible on console though. Ken's the fucking goat. This play was so good, dude. It's so it was so good. And then he gets the extra one for the fucking cherry measure. Top. Yeah, cherry on top. Oh, that shit was insane. Come from all angles. Let's go, Ken. Oh, we don't want search. You don't. You guys don't want to watch the IRI search anyway. Actually, we'll, we'll watch the fucking game. <laughs> the game bug, by the way. The game bug. Nah, I won't, I won't. The game bug. Uh, was Seattle next? Yeah, we get to watch the absolute fucking master class first <laughs> month. Dude, I don't know if you remember this, but do you, uh, it was a BO4. It was like the, it was the exact same situation. It was against Optic and Pool Play on Frequency Hardpoint. Me and Ken both had like 45. No, I don't and remember. Like, dude, it was just the, I got the exact same vibe from this map. Fucking AG and Ken were just absolutely slain. <clears throat> All I heard this map was dead, dead, dead. Yeah. And I was thinking to myself, how the fuck didn't we like 100 point club them? Because I felt like we were just getting, winning every gunfight. Dude, as soon as it went to the list and AG just goes, oh my god. I'm like, oh shit. <laughs> One of these.
very competitive draft now. The A's are really hot. Let's see if he's going to use that to his advantage. Yeah, they're tough to pick out. They're tough to find. They're tough to find. Over. How's the, how's the AR changed since the patch? Uh, it feels pretty much the same. It's the same. It's like DR6 and Flash Rider, and you just take off the stock. It feels pretty much the same. Oh, you just don't use the stock at all? Yeah. You just use the, the claw rear grip. It's the same class. Mm -hmm. But I get bored every day, so I just mess around with it and find out different shit, and they're all fucking terrible. <laughs> Thoughts on what the match versus Ultra may have looked like? I feel Ultra just had a had it in the bag this major before we even started. I, I thought it would have been battle. I would have liked to see our hard point versus their hard point, like when we were doing well. But they, they look really good. Like a, you guys didn't get the opportunity to play, but I wonder if it's just like a... I feel like we match up better than them than, than FaZe saying, does like, to them. You know what I'm saying? Like, I think like FaZe beats you guys. Like maybe there's a world where you guys would beat Ultra. Ultra beats FaZe. Like it just like goes around. Some rock, world. paper, scissors shit. Yeah. yeah, some starter Pokemon shit. <laughs> starter Pokemon. <laughs> yeah. I would have liked to see that though because you guys are... That hard point would have been sick. For just sure. to see like... Dude, we didn't play them at all stage one. Yeah. Did you guys scrim them at all or no? Oh yeah, we were scrim them. We were like... Yeah, we would trade maps and stuff like... So that's why I was like, oh, maybe we would match up better. Because if it, it felt like at least versus FaZe, they just were going to win every fucking map yeah. when they were playing them. But they look really good. What are people thinking on the, this new map? Um, I actually don't hate it. The P3 is... Is it P3? Yeah, the, the ramp hill is just fucking terrible. I hate that hill. Yeah. I was The but, only thing I was thinking when we scrimmed it yesterday was... Dock seems so small. Like, the P4 hill looks, like, small as fuck compared to, like... Yeah, it is. Everything else. But at the same time, like, getting to it. Like, the hill size is almost irrelevant because, of like... You're... Like, once you get to the hill it's broken if that yeah yeah, yeah. Like, it, like the the hill size is somewhat irrelevant and you have you have back spawn now too it's not like yeah this patch on the fucking fence and just iron i don't hate it though the p the like i said the p3 is kind of whatever yeah definitely better than not in tunnel though for sure it just makes like top snow even more important than it was before i don't know how but you can actually play up there for every hill on this map and be fine mm -hmm. yeah. I didn't even mind the tunnel that much. It's, at least it was like you gotta coordinate your tax or something. Like, yeah, I don't know. I, I just had a problem with the the boat hill, the P three. That shit was stupid. Yeah, it was terrible. I mean, I don't. I didn't mind it if they if they had done it in a different order instead of just back to back on the same side of the map. Yeah, that's true too. But I like the the newer P three just because it opens up the right side of the map for everything that isn't P5. Like, P5 is the only reason to ever go on that side of the map for the most part. <laughs> yeah. Than, like, off break in P2. So, like, having that P3, I think, is fun. Because, actually, like, you have to play through warehouse and shit, and it sets you up for the rotation. I just, I'm a big fan of, like, actually forcing movement on the map instead of, like, being able to play the same spot for hills on end. Yeah. Listen, chat. If we get fucking banned, I'm blaming JP. <laughs> I'll take the brunt of it, dude. <laughs> like, it's not even, we're not even winning big, but I remember the comms being like, oh, we're winning this map. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. Everything I felt like everything was going our way, even though like it technically wasn't. I guess it was like we're only down or we're only up like fifty points at this point. Sixty on sub base is a decent amount, though. To be fair, yeah. Once you get away from the money holes, do coaches watch the gameplay X-ray live as well? Yeah, we watch the same broadcast feed. We just have the comms the whole time. Dude, I could, I could never. I would actually tweak. What? Like I just I get just being in the back watching games that I just don't care about. <laughs> and like if right. I was actually like I, if I had skin in the game and I'm sitting here watching a team, like I would hate that. Well, you don't like watching a match where it's like your hands are tied no. behind your back? Like fuck no. 
bro. Yeah, I, I, I'll be sitting here fucking tweeting. I hope we break this hill. Yeah, exactly. I hope we streak in the right spot here. <laughs> oh, we got two piece. All good. There's another thing, dude. I think like the hill change is going to be big. Don't get me wrong, but I actually think the streak change is, is like bigger than the hills changing on ironically. Yeah, we're talking about it before, but like especially because the new hills are all like in the open now. All in the open. Like the streak change is going to change the way that this game is played so much. Yeah. Nah, that, I mean, I was like, like, yeah, I was like, oh, we're not losing this game. Like, we're not losing this game. What if he's getting kills like that? Fuck. I mean, Ken, we're just taking turns. Dad. I haven't pro swath back to kill streaks to score streaks. Uh, I think score streaks and S and D are fine, but in respawn, it's a little bit weird. Is what is it? How much is it for a missile chat? Is it, is it six hundred for a score streak? It's got to be a little bit more than that, right? I don't mind either. I think it's cool that you can like count to like see how close they are, like when it's kill streaks. Yeah. Because you can't really do it with score streaks, but. Yeah, it's a lot harder to track for sure. But I, I think, I, think it's, it's, I don't know. Like, can you, like, I don't. I don't really have a preference. Yeah. I like juggling the hill though. That was cool. Like to get streaks. Dude, I remember in early BO4, I ran pulse, and you would get like a, I think it was like ten score per second in the hill, and plus the pulse would would go off three times, and you get like three hundred. <laughs> you're just fucking. Hill, you're you licking. Pulse, you get full streaks. <laughs> you're licking it, getting streaks. Yeah, you would literally get full streaks for some using pulse in the hill. That's funny. It's 700 750 yeah it's not it's not really worth at that point and s and i would argue otherwise but in respawn no no but dude even right now like the fact that it's like this close like dude at this point the comms sounded like we were 100 point clumping them yeah. and i'm like how is it even this close i feel like we're winning every gunfight I'm surprised they didn't hit the hill here. Yeah, I don't know why they didn't either, to be honest. I feel like you should like taking the time. Yeah, to number why once number five died, like the Buddha should have hit the hill for sure. Oh my god. Our PA is loud because you kill your teammate every time you use one. <laughs> if you guys don't remember, was it last year that PAs were loud or the year prior? You would use them and just literally kill your teammate every time. <laughs> and they never oh no, it was, um, it was Vanguard, right? I think it was. It was Vanguard. They just never went where you actually called them in. You're guaranteed one team kill per like, yeah, per per time or per attempt. They weren't even accurate. They like went over the map in like a different way. Blender setup, dude. Holy shit. I mean, yeah, this is. It's very hard to break. Oh, this guy does sneak through, though. Kenny. Shit on. How do you use an ammo box? Yeah, just so he doesn't use the trophy. Why I just put that in? Well, he fucking appreciates every time, anyway. Damn, what the fuck? Thank, thank. I mean, P5 to P1 with a god like. If you push through, I guess, I don't know how it is on the new patch. 
But if you push through server technically while blocking like P2 spawn, do they just spawn like behind tunnel? Maybe you actually get through server. Like you, know? you push past the door? Yeah. I think, like yeah, I think if you back. push past the door, yeah. I was gonna say you're you like, you're, you're testing limits shit. there. Yeah. yeah. I was going to say, you're probably, I mean, like, it's pretty easy to hold P2 spawn on this map. So, like, if someone just, like, irons for P5, like, top snow, I wonder if you could actually just force spawn them in there, like, over and over again. It's obviously, like, a crazy setup, but. Jesus Christ. I mean. Was he ended with 40, 41, something like that? I think he has, like, 41, yeah. Kind of, I think, like, 39. Okay, Ken. He should not be getting two there. Oh! Yeah, me and Tommy were just tweaking watching this. Like, every time they spec either Predator or fucking Ken, it was just a two-piece every time. <laughs> Is Surge blacklisted? No. Negative nine. Fucking <laughs> not from my uh, knowledge, actually. I have no idea. I don't know what the consensus is with the GA stuff. Like, like teams are letting that rock, bro. <clears throat> the fact this map is going to time is... That's what I'm saying, dude. Like, I was like, how the fuck? I saw the time. I was like, with the new change sub base, I, we, we had never had one go to time. But we were, I guess we were just fucking kill whoring. We were just smoking their <laughs> shit. Yeah, they're basically double 40s. Yeah. <laughs> going for dope at this point. Straight up. He goes, dude, this is where, uh, like, I think we'd get the tick anyways, but, like, but uh, Ant's like, yo, I got new. it. Ken's like, all right, I'm taking a chow. <laughs> he just gets a two-piece. <laughs> Double fucking 40s. Yeah. They just want a fucking baby-ass terminal S&D, like, fucking cringe free. <laughs> Bro, I thought Brandon was going to win, win that 1v1 with Ender, Dude. like, back truck. I was like, what nah, the... the way he killed Kyler mid-hall. I don't remember the Kyler kill. I'm not... Oh, yeah, yeah, wait. He's, oh, wait. Machine, bro, he's like, Dude, if I don't have Marksman, I'll get that kill. When he kills him in a fucking bullet. <laughs> Dude, I, that I feel like if Ender game. didn't miss his jump, like, three times on that truck, Brandon yeah. wins that 1v1. Yeah. Which is weird, That's but... Cookie, thank you for the five, buddy. First invasion control in a match. I had the regional is today, huh? I want to see if I can watch that. I fucking hate the way that people play this map, dude. I actually tweak it every time. This is what would you call the Khabib? The Khabib, that is correct. The Khabib. That is correct. The fucking bring that one over. absolute show cold. <laughs> that's, a, that's a Shane gem right there. I think they get out of this too, which is yeah, annoying, do. but we got to be better than the Khabib. Is this the map that you guys lose because like fucking there's like a literal millisecond on A and they stop it or some shit like that? I didn't know. It was Minnesota that we lost round five. Was that Minnesota? Or maybe, no, because we win this map, so maybe there's a round of it. Yeah, there's a literal Minnesota. Minnesota we won, there. or Minnesota we lost a round five defense that we fucking trolled. Yeah, that's just the fucking, the invasion offense cheese in round five, dude. You get extra ammo and extra bullets when you're fucking damaging the playing round five offense. <laughs> I swear, dude, people just scam away defense on round five so hard. Good angle, Ken. Are they screaming asshole? Was there someone in the crowd or some shit? Like why? Like why are we not going in here? Like why are we not? Why are we just cut, not cutting? Like why? No, like Kyler, like 15 seconds ago, just ran for fucking three DVD instead of just going to A when it was completely free. Oh. I mean, we have to lose this round, right? There's no way we we get back, right? I actually don't remember what happens on this map. Me neither. 
I just know we win the map. I don't know about it. If there's, if there's if you, they don't win this. No, we ca we we deny this. How the fuck did they not win this? Oh, no one's watching their side. Oh, it just slides in with a shotgun, I guess. Pretty sure we win this round. <laughs> Someone said a Seattle negative ice, unfortunately. <laughs> 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 Shit. Oh, huge win Accident? by AG. Back in the Khabib. See you later. See you round two. And here goes seven wrapping bridge for no reason. Here we go. I hate the one. I hate when teams. I hate it. Like you're never kill. Like if the guy bridge doesn't give you the kill, you're never killing him. What are you calling? Like oh, you're, you're calling bridge. Him. Okay, we call him Lamar. Yeah, like fucking like we're bridge. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Like what is this doing? Like what are you doing here? You just got fucking ripped anyway. Like, Playing yeah. kills for round five, I guess. It's I so anti-productive, dude. It makes no sense. His teams have like a fetish which is wrapping this guy, wasting 30 seconds, and never even coming close to touching the point. And I What's the best way to get A on offense? Uh, no free info off over rip. here. <laughs> Someone said off rip. Fucking with a break off. <laughs> get a two piece on your break off. I think the rival is better than the Vazna from last year. Yes. Uh, Dude, the yeah. rival is disgusting. I mean, I, I think the MCW is better, but the, the the shit that you can do with the rival feels like a lot of shit you shouldn't be able to do, if that makes sense. Well, yeah, I, I lose gunfights where I'm like, oh, the guy had a good shot, and then I watch the cocaine with the <laughs> sub, and I'm fucking tweaking. <laughs> MCW killing in four is unexcusable, though. They need to nerf the shit out of that gun. That headshot multiplier is insane. <laughs> Oh, if he would have won that. Damn. I'm, actually, I'm surprised Ken went back right there, to be honest. Oh, how did he not win that? Uh, he must have stopped shooting. Slammed. Don't you hate that? Sliding in the same doorway? Mm-hmm. Literal 50-50. Just fucking body slam the guy and hope that he his aim <laughs> turns around for some reason. Where, what was the game that was like all drive-by? Was it was Vanguard where it's just yeah. like it's all drive-by? <laughs> yeah. Alec is in our cheeks. What the going fuck? Rogue. What? <laughs> he's just, dude, we, we know that he's like back here too and Brandon just sh like Snaps. Yeah, he's, he's just, I think he stopped shooting at Brandon right here. And this guy dies a street. Like, that's uh, that's what we call a scam shit. <laughs> it's a good offense. Oh, Jesus Christ. Uh, I might watch a little Rocket League today. We'll see. What oh, time's Ken it? from the top rope. I was kind of mad at this at this death because Ken said he could pitch McCud and Anthony even look at it. Unfortunately, too late. Like, why is there not a close A spawn on this map? There is. Did you not see the phase uh, series? It's like behind. It's like behind the wall. Yeah, right? we it's just, not like consistent though. <laughs> no, we just got it randomly, bro. Yeah, it's like right behind the. Bro, the wall the I was thing. mind blown. I was yeah, like, it's like it's just the most inconsistent. Like, it only happens like once every three maps. Yeah. It's not even like the. Fucking it's the weirdest thing. shit. It's the weirdest shit. And it happens for no reason too. It's not like anyone's like blocking any spawns or anything. You just you just spawn there randomly. 
Is Karachi the best map in the game? I think it's the best search map. I also think it's the best control map. Definitely the best control map. I don't know about hard, no. I don't think it's best hard point though. I don't even know what the best hard point is at this point. Yeah, true. Yo, yeah, Loki might be Rio. Fuck at this point. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, I saw a scoreboard with like triple thirty nine. Like, yeah, I was like, shit. damn, we're actually getting an engagements in the yeah, map. Yeah, like fucking bow cage too. Meat's the best, true. We have fucking meat hard point. I'm so happy teams actually decided to go right now, dude. It only took a month. Get on. Yeah, only thing is if you get stuffed, you're in the fucking demon. Yeah, if, you get, like, if this guy gets pushed up B-side. Yeah, we only have one fight over there most of the time. Yeah. Like, you only have, like, one guy to kill. Because, like, the, the way I want teams to play is, like, if you do get stuffed, you know that guy's going to be on the tank. Like if you get that one kill, the street's going to be open for the most part. Because the rest of them yeah. are going to be, like, mid-tank coming through dark, like, deep blue, wrapping back from A, like, whatever. You're yeah, saying like you just got to be quicker like, on it, like, yeah, exactly. actually make like, a you play? You have to fast kill that guy. Mm. Like, you'll throw a life away, but I feel like that, like, the trade-off of potentially getting A for, like, a two life, assuming you play it properly, like, yeah, isn't that bad. Who was the first team you scrimmed since coming back? Uh, just Minnesota. We were supposed to play Boston, too, but apparently Austin was sick. Yeah, a bunch, I heard a bunch of people got sick. Death glitch. <laughs> Isn't Ant sick too though? No, he's good. He was his throat was not great. Like you can like if we had to play Thursday or sorry, Wednesday, he wouldn't have been able to come. So we wouldn't have played. But yesterday he woke up fine. Yeah, no, Zinni was, Zinni was on stream talking about it yesterday. He was sick, I think. There's a bunch of people with fucking land flu. First event of the year, everyone's fucking... Wait, doesn't he have a trophy here? Hey, I think he had it literally in his hand when he... When he uh oh, yeah, yeah, he did. You're right. <laughs> Just fucking sit there holding it. <laughs> <laughs> dude, Ant was being so annoying pushing up to their base. Like, dude, I'm, I'm normally, like, against defending like if you're not playing like he's not even playing poorly like he's just not like 1.2 yeah like, normally against defending like repeatedly poor statistical performances but like and i genuinely think is like the fucking the curve breaker when it comes to that mm -hmm. like the shit that he does like is so cliche but no one else plays like him it's fucking insane like he'll be negative five but like He'll get you a two piece or like a kill or a break on that map that will win you the game. And they're just, it's like, Ken, it's like Ken last year. Like, Ken didn't have the best yeah. school year, but like, you knew he was going to be in the right place at the right time to win you the game. And like, nine times out of 10, he did it. <laughs> this shit was a slamming. This was a fucking bloodbath of a map. Was Greece never an option for a map ad? Honestly, it was never talked about, at least in the chats that I've been in. It's hard to it's hard to get him to try one new map, but never mind two, let's be honest. Yeah, like, so I'm surprised that Rio's getting tested so quickly. Dude, this this was a fucking blender. This map was so bad for Seattle. This was This is another map where I just heard dead, 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 like Yeah. I mean, there was it like I think that it was like 16, 15 or sixteen straight kills on the P. Yeah, the, the P or yeah, P five to P one was just it was ugly. Oh yeah, the Seattle listening, yeah, 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 and get a kill the entire fucking time. So this is what I was talking about on the flip. Like, you just win that one fight around the corner and, like, you can get through so easily. Yeah. It's <clears throat> good, Ryan. Any scrims today? Yeah, we play... I don't remember who we play, but we have scrims later. That's why I, I probably got, like, an hour left. I don't think Greece could work. It's just too small. 
It was still, it was like, it's not too small, but it's just like the ratty fucking lanes and angles and stuff. I think players would be against playing. That was an insane shot by Ender. <laughs> Dude, he was shooting. All memes aside, like his turn, he actually had such a good tournament. Yeah. Like, how does he get out there? <laughs> like, like, how does he get out there and get a two piece? Like, that's the shit I'm talking about, dude. Like, he just runs just through terminal, fucking gets a two piece, trading it out of thin air. I'm so glad you can contest Burger Hill from the front now. Yeah, that was, this was, that was such a good change. Yeah. Terminal was worse than Skid Row SD. I fear you are smoking methamphetamine, brother. I've heard that. Oh, wait. Uh, I want to hear Urine Sam's Nightmare BO5 map set can use any of the past games. Oh, I made one on Twitter the other day. Really? The other day, a couple months ago. Yeah. I think. Uh, well, let me see if I can find it. Give me a sec. You can do yours. Let me see if I can find my tweet. I'm trying to. I, I got to remember all the fucking maps. This shit's up there. Oh, I, had a, I had a banger, bro. I had a, I had a banger. MW2 maps. I mean, Skid Row Search uh, might probably oh, be in that it. shit. Okay, Hardpoint. Piccadilly <laughs> S&D. Piccadilly. Fortress Control. Hydro Hardpoint. Ramaza S&D. <laughs> I'm, I'm putting Skid Row over Ramaza. I thought we... Well, I, I did that prior to this year. Yeah. Uh, Fortress Control makes sense. Piccadilly for sure. And then I had Bocage and Hydro Hardpoint. I'll keep Hydro because we were actually decent at it. But you guys would fucking beat us in the finals and that shit. <laughs> Um, and here's where the absolute blend. Trying to remember the hard point maps from like Vanguard and shit. There's really not that many like terrible hard point maps. That's why I went with those two. Gav control, nah. Fortress control is worse than Gav. Maybe two maps. Dude, I look up MW two maps. It's giving me OG MW two. Like this dude, they didn't get a kill for two minutes. <laughs> Fucking criminal. Hmm. Uh, yeah, Mercado last year, Steve, but Mercado's not even that bad of a map. Yeah, I wouldn't put Mercado worse than like fucking Bocage. Bocage was just gunny. It was just like it was just fun. The map was bad. <laughs> yeah. Like people did. The people don't know the difference when they talk about maps. The map was really, really fun to play, but it was a terrible map competitively. These comms weren't great. Yo, yo, yo. But it's all like, it's all just death comms. Like, he's here, he's here. Oh, yeah. You know there's what I'm saying? No, there's no direction or anything. Arclive, Arclive peak hardpoint. <laughs> you remember that shit? Holy shit, with the, the map with 36 hills. And they got it changed. Dude, I remember in a scrim, I died to Lamar. Like, you remember, like, not the barn side of the map, the other side mm -hmm. with, like, top grannies? Yeah. You know the ruins behind that, like, in the back right corner? Yeah, that's that's where, like, the last Dude. hill was or whatever. Yeah, right? yeah, yeah. So you, there was, like, the hill, and then you could actually go further back there. 
and I died to Lamar in a scrim one day, and I actually didn't know that you could go like that far into the map. And then I, I fucking went to game chat after, and he was like, "Dude, I'm not gonna lie to you. I had no idea that was there." <laughs> like, oh shit! Okay. Dude, oh, MW19, man, what a year. Uh, do you vote on adding new hardpoint maps or just generally agree? I think the rep chat does a vote, but I would be very, very surprised if Rio doesn't get in. These guys just started fucking breaking down, dude. And then something that no one sees and kills the guy plane, flips him out. Like, that's the shit I'm talking about, chat. There's, there's shit that's just not on the minimap that no one notices in the game. Because, like, it's not on your screens. Like, you mm -hmm. just killed that guy plane, flipped everyone out to security, and they get P2 into P3 now. Bro, like, the, the Skid Row hard point, I don't know if you were in the stream during it, but when we used the double streak, like, he fucking broke that shit by himself two-piece. We didn't even need this, the streaks to break it. Yeah. I think it was versus Florida. Or Miami. I mean, lineup. Oh, what the? That's the series. Look at him, Minnesota. Fucking slammed. Slammed. Rettles is playing Rocket League today. That is correct. I'll try to tune in as much as I can. I think we're just going to play rank today, chat. I, I told Tommy I'd game with him today, so we'll probably be doing that for most of it. But What's up with our cams? What the fuck? Hopping and out. Hey, you guys are in the fucking Mordecai's what? result. <laughs> the Shadow Realm. Yeah. I got to do this series is going to be a 3 0. But, like, Minnesota played it, like, relatively well, I feel. Yeah, no, they they were playing well this event. Pretty. No, not a 3 0, 3 1. I thought it was going to be a 3 0. You guys scanned. All good. What did we lose? Control. Oh, we did lose the control. We should have won that control for sure. Huh? Yeah. Oh, yeah, it should 100% been a 3 0. I'm so angry that Invasion is just a square up map for every team. Like, nobody hates it enough to not play it, and nobody's bad at it enough to veto it so that everyone just fucking plays it every series all the time. It's one of the ones where, like, the the break off isn't as, like, detrimental. Yeah, bats, good side bats, though, yeah. yeah. Especially now. It's the middle of the map. You're not touching that shit. True. Uh, you don't need to, Kieran. You only have to overclock PS4 controllers. I think you, I mean, I think you can overclock PS5 controllers. There's like a, um, I don't know the word for it. You can like stupor overclock them basically, but it doesn't really do anything. I don't think. I'm like the people that I know that have tested it. But you just do it the same way you'd overclock a PS4 controller. I mean, going two down right at the start of the hill like that is the worst shit you can do. Yeah. Now you just play this like a control break. Fucking sprint. I mean, they still fucking spawn up and kill us, so. Rip. Dude, Lens is so good. Yeah, Lens is good. It's weird, because, like, he's good in these matches, but in scrims, I didn't, I didn't think he was that great. He but he, well, he did like, turn it up. Literally every series. Yeah. Weekend, and in their matches on the I was honestly like really surprised at, at Lan that he was playing that well. Yeah. And Lamar had a really good event too. But when, when Lamar has a good event, no one, no one talks about it because they're just oh, of course. the only shit on that. <laughs> of course. We tip here. Kind of 
Bro, the mid pack of the league isn't just such a shit show. <laughs> yeah. Like you have to like you have to say that Minnesota's the the like probably what fourth, fifth best team right now, but like it's just will that continue? Like is someone gonna start fucking frying? Is someone gonna start getting shit on? Like there's just so many options in those teams. But it's weird because it's like like you guys say on the shows, like you kinda have to make a change now. Like if you're gonna make a change, like you know what I'm saying? Like it's a really weird situation, but if you wanna make champs at the end, like every single series, every single match matters. You yeah. can't like wait for it. You just gotta be proactive. Fucking look like Carolina made a two person change. I had a really good event. That kill was huge. I think we break this. Maybe yeah, not. I'm pretty sure you guys do. Because then he gets on this wall, yeah. And he just kills him on the wall. Don't worry, Ann will just fucking break it himself. <laughs> 5 and 12, by the way. But, like, people will see this death and be like, oh, he fucking scammed me. It's like, bro, he's literally opening up for everyone else on this shit, dude. Yeah. Like, if he's not there, Kenny gets 2v1 while he's trying to open his wall. Like, obviously, Ken probably doesn't do this if it's, he's not there, but, like... Uh, nah, OP. I don't think, like, good teams are going to stay good teams even through the hard point changes. The only, like, I've, I said it before the month break for the first part of the qualifier. The, the thing about all of these changes, it doesn't make teams better. It stops them from getting worse. That 1v1 by Ken was fucking insane. Yeah, he absolutely slammed the wake. It's like the teams that are... Ah, uh, we still break the hill anyway. It doesn't matter, but it was good. <clears throat> What are players and coaches' thoughts on betting on COD? Things like prize picks feel more prevalent now than ever. Uh, I don't really give a shit. <laughs> but just know if I wasn't if I wasn't coaching or playing, I don't know. I hate like I was said to the watch parties and stuff, and Tom's big about it, but I don't. I try not to. I just think it's funny. Like I don't want people copying what I'm like at do. at a certain point, it's just it's straight up like coin flips. Oh yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like you're like. You're not going into somebody's hard point being like, oh, I'm, I'm dropping 21 kills for sure. It's like, sure. or, oh, Shotzi's getting 21 kills for sure this map. It's like, no. There's dude. like some educated stuff you can do. Yeah, like, yeah. Uh, Karachi SD, you pick like basically the middle map sub player every time for an over. Like, yeah, like yeah. There, there, there are some certain but, things, but at a certain point, it's just like. Yeah, it's definitely luck. Bro, Tom went 0 for 1 for 13 <laughs> on Saturday. Like, just, Imagine going 1 for 13 on coin flips. Yeah. Pure fucking luck sometimes. But I don't like. I I never like say what I would do on stream just because like obviously people can fucking take what I say and do it. Oh Sam, you just lost me money, dude. Thanks, yeah, exactly. man. Yeah. Like, I'm I'm happily gonna lose you money while I'm playing. But <laughs> I'm not gonna do that shit if I tell you to fucking pick Kenny's over and he doesn't hit it. Yeah. Like, I'll happily drop two in a search, but if I'm not playing, I'm not doing. It. Or it's like the worst is like, uh, I see people like, oh, you guys won too quick. You couldn't get the over. Well, motherfucker, yeah, you what? You, you don't want us to 6 0 the team in search? You know what I'm yeah. saying? What? Bro, I needed six and you gave me five. You guys 6 0, man. What the fuck? What the fuck, man? Why'd you have to beat him so bad? <laughs> Look at Ampy and fucking annoying. So inspirational. All right, chat. That's different. I said death taxes in the purge under. <laughs> that's fucked. It's so fucked. It's so fucked. <laughs> Few things in life are guaranteed, chat. Bro, he. This gun is so good, but so dog shit. <laughs> that's what I'm saying. This P3 is like, if you can get a good chain of P2, P3, that's fucking. It's everything. Oh, I forgot to check the when Ender used the SAE by accident. He pulled that shit out. Then instant died. Yeah, that was actually so, that was actually a huge thing that he did that too. If he got the instant streak off, I think like it would have been like a decent timing on it. 
Have pros test out new ARs for three gun meta like BF4 and the Maddox? I don't think, no, not that I know of. Usually DLC weapons aren't allowed, right? Nah, they've never used DLC guns. Yeah. Uh, the only one I remember was like the Ram 7 or something. The Ram and the Uzi and then... Nem there's like the Itra in World War II, that shit got insta g would Yeah. Like, this is a situation for Rocker where it's like, it's kind of fucked. Yeah, Regardless, yeah, I mean, it's like, you're fucked. How does, Friends bro, this was this insane. Shot, this shot is insane. I said to him after, I said, what the fuck did you just do? Like, more had to be weak. Save it for later. Ah, I don't know, Jesus. but that shit was crazy. Like, bro, he fucking insta killed him. I think he <laughs> Dude, I think the comms were like, in this situation, um, Cam was like, yo, yo, you can push up, you can take a child or some shit. And Brent is like, no, I'm going to chill here. Bro. I like this yeah. Eddie. He's like, I'm an unkillable, unkillable, literally. He's like, you can push up broken. He's like, I'm just going to nah, chill I'm here. good. I'm going to sit my ass right here. <laughs> oh, the ground MW19 is actually a good shot. You're right. Oh, yeah. I remember Ann used that shit on fucking peak. Oh, wait. Or not There's peak, another oh, map, okay. right? What am I doing? Lever take on Dashy? Yeah, Pat, Pat's take was a little weird. <clears throat> uh, yeah, I'll probably watch a little bit of RLCS today. I'm, I'm mostly just going to be playing ranked today, so I'll probably pop in and out, see how they're doing and shit. How the fuck did AG? I was literally about to ask the same shit. I don't know. Must have tried to throw a detonate or something to just bounce back. I don't know. Fucking ant holding off the zombie horde over here. That's what I'm talking about. Like, this is the this is the a, Samuel Octane break. Yeah, if you don't kill that guy fast enough, like it just gets so weird. Two ticks on A, you get on to B. Yeah. That's what happens though. Like they went A, they got good progress, and then Ant bought enough time for like the trades to get in, and just Ken didn't get one, obviously. But if he had gotten one there, that'd be a lot better spot. There's just no point not to go A off rip. It's only Berlin control. <clears throat> You're gonna spawn B regardless. You might as well fucking go. <laughs> Oh my god, and like winning that one is fucking massive too. Like what is the purpose of that? Like he he was he spawned ice cream racked all the way back through palace, got to bridge just to die. Like you're not getting your team to spawn. <clears throat> you're not last in line, so you can't do it anyway. Like, uh, I guess he's just trying to prevent people from going bridge on like our team. But, the, but also but like, he's like I don't know. He's is Ant not useless in this situation? I don't think so. Like if you don't feed him kills, right? Like say he, they play up mid here and they kill Ken. And they just never give Anna a kill. What is or fuck yeah, they don't give Anna a kill. Like what is he accomplishing here? Like I what think do they, what, he, do they do? what is he doing here? I mean they they yeah, for sure. I, I think you push up mid or some shit, but like if like he gets information that you're playing mid, then like yeah, yeah, pretty much. Cause like this is so the way I look at this map is a CeeLo control. Like you would on offense, you would leave that guy white as the last kill, right? Like you know he's blocking spawns, you know that guy's there, right? You would play mm -hmm. through mid, even if like I don't see anything white, like yeah, obviously they're going AG around shit. mid. That's crazy. Like, AG lost that shit. What the fuck? There's just no point of fucking of playing that kill, in my opinion. That kill is insane, by the way. I think I think the team. the other thing is like if you leave this guy alive and you start trying to cut from like here, he can just kill you crossing as well. Well, he has too. to shoot through the fence, or he has to like come back. And that point, like the guy. The guy that's inevitably going to be AS and D can be the last one to play for him while his teammates go to point. You know what I mean? Yeah. Like he's not going to get a four piece while you're crossing. I mean, I would still like go. He's going to have to shoot through the fence or some shit. Yeah, I mean, you can still go to the truck too, or unless you're saying like yeah, people no, are spawning back there, up like, and shit. Just have the one guy play the cross. Like he, it, it's actually hard to kill people on the cross on this map for some reason. Like when they're going A. 
So like, I don't know. I, I I hate like watching teams voluntarily wrap back and just like you're not even giving yourself an opportunity to go to the point. They got two ticks at the beginning of the round and they didn't even get near it for the rest of the game. Yeah, the they fact that they got the two in. ticks and and, and cap B, they should have for sure won that. Round. Yeah, but like they they had an opportunity to actually win the round and I feel like they're just wasting so much time getting a useless kill because he's gonna spawn up, take two steps forward, and get his own trade. Like he's just gonna watch the cross because those people are completely out of the play. I the forgot to do the invasion. I mean, I forgot they do the control uh, listenings too. Yeah, the only teams that like do the shit that I'm talking about is like Toronto, you guys, and Face, and like sometimes I like to. I just think that kill is just fucking irrelevant. Hmm. Free two piece. It's <laughs> double dating. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why they walked out on the street to Ned be pointing, just throw it over blue. <laughs> Lamar, so I'm talking about. Like, Lamar is gonna be Lamar, Lamar Street, bro. Lamar Street's comedy. Calling out Lamar on Lamar Street is fucking hilarious. <laughs> like, this is what I'm talking about. How it would play out. Like, granted, you guys didn't cap B yet, but like, this is the map state. Like, ideally, there would be more people mid, but I feel like Ant rapping for this is like. Is counterproductive because it's just it's just so much time wasted to try to find him and he ends up dying anyway. Yeah, I mean, I just I hate continuing to go left. I don't know, maybe that's just me. But not not just entirely left. I mean, I mean like go mid to dark, like play up mid court. Like the guy bridge depend like obviously depending where he's playing. If he's like pushed up on the tank in front of the wall, yeah, like, yeah. obviously you need to kill him. But if he's you know for a fact he's on the bridge, like. Just run through court, like play through P1. Oh yeah, if you know he's, oh we call this Nero, but like if yeah, if you know he's like fucking deep over here. Yeah, that's what I'm yeah. saying. Like if you know he's deep back there, if he's not pushed up like where four is right now, then like sure. But the, just teams like voluntarily wrap into that so often, and it just doesn't make sense. I don't know why, because like very rarely are you going to run up the street and get on the point. You know what I mean? There was a chance here too. We just can get on the point. We had like two more seconds. Helping the ops? No, I mean, I say this shit on the watch party all the time. Literally every time I watch this map, you guys hear me bitch about this exact same concept. Because it just plays out the same way every time. Like you're just banking on the other team. Like that guy giving you the kill. If he just plays his life and has a trophy on himself, like you're just wasting 30 seconds. Biggest surprise team this year? Um, probably LEG. No, LEG, I would say. Everyone's counting LEG out. But yeah, I would, you'd say after like the major stages, you'd, you could say New York for sure. I think New York, like. After LAN, I should say. Or not last, but tied four. LAG definitely. LAG New York for sure. <laughs> Defense on this shit is crazy. Ants got them in the blender. Well, 
Will you be uploading this to YouTube? Uh, maybe I'll just upload the full thing. Bro, people don't realize. I, I I realized this after we tweeted that you saw that um, uh, ant smoke clip. Yeah. People don't realize how much like fun people have in comms sometimes. Oh yeah, bro. Dude, Magic you know what I'm saying? Fun. Like, and like this is something that, like I used to obviously because of the last few years. But dude, people were just like, bro, what? What? They're in a land match. Why are they laughing and stuff? Like, what? You're just oh, fun you're fun and you're having fun with your friends on stage. So fuck. No, this dude, you should have seen. There are some, there are some hilarious comms, dude. Bro, when that smoke landed, I actually fucking freaked out. Dude, it didn't make any difference in the round. It did, it yeah, so like, much. like he didn't even check it anyways. But I was like, yeah. dude, in, in my head, I'm just like, oh, that's that's landing top diner on top of the fucking red roof. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, and they just landed perfectly in front of him, trying yeah, to yeah. refuse. I'm like, dude, what the fuck? Was, it was unreal. And Call of Duty is just fun, bro. Like, land matches get trolly, too. Like, it's not always just, like, super high intensity. No, it gets funny. Especially if you're, like, shitting on the other team. Yeah, if you're slamming. If you're slamming, teams. that shit gets really funny. Yeah. Because you know you're just, like, you just know you're just in the back, and you're just, yeah. like, yeah. I've had, a, I've had a couple series over the last couple of years where I've just fucking stopped calling out, and I just get trolly as shit because we're <laughs> slamming teams. Bro, like, AG's comms, like, in... Like scrims when, when he just like thinks that the other team's just fucking trolling is hilarious. Like he'll just roast the people and it's so yeah. fucking funny. Does that shit on stream two and eights? <laughs> yeah, yeah, probably the same shit. Bro, I felt so bad, but I, I remember a clip of him getting baited by God Rx at the beginning of the season and he muted his mic and he started <laughs> fucking tweaking mid eight series. Bro, so and then funny. he like team killed him. He's like, yo, sorry, I didn't see your name pop up. <laughs> Oh my god, dude. That's fucking so funny. Uh, no, Brian. There are no... I mean, I'm sure there are, but people don't use smoke spots. If you can share, do you think choosing Terminal Bad Side was a good choice against FaZe? I think it was a fine choice. It was a team choice that we were like, it's their auto veto. They don't want to play it. Bad Side, we're not even that bad at Bad Side. I don't know, like... We're good at good side, but it doesn't mean we're bad at Bad Side. Like... We just wanted to guarantee terminal in the series and to have it first right after they're coming off a loss. It's just unfortunate. We we went into the second rotation tied. Like we sh we should have done better on the holds the second rotation. It didn't really have anything to do with the sides. Kenny said you had good sides most of the map anyway. Yeah, like that's what I'm saying. Like we ended the P two or we ended the the first rotation with the good side. Look at how AG kills uh, Lamar over here. I was mind blown he even checked this shit. You know, Vanguard is one of my favorite calls of all time. Berlin hardpoint in a match. Someone else get point of shitting on these kids? Dude, I've had some troll. The the listening against Optic at Champs, I was full-blown troll. Like, I think it was the Gav... Was it Gav hardpoint? It was either Gav hardpoint or Gav control. When I'm like, I'm top ring, just like slamming. And I think Ender got on the point. I'm just like, fucking run at this guy. Fucking run at him. He's fucking terrible. Dude. Like, dude he got so trolly. Oh, this is where we... Oh my god. We should have won it right here. Dude, there's a, what the dude, fuck happened here? Second. That's what I'm saying. The mill is. They, they just died. contest. AG died. AG died on the front side of the. Oh. From the and then. They just dude, I legit the, thought we won. I told Roger, who was like gonna go film them, I was like, "Yo, we're gonna win this. We're gonna win this." Like as soon as, as soon as we get over here, I'm like, "Oh, we're winning this." Roger, go film. I can't even see the progress on the point. I low key, so I low key might have jinxed it, bro. But I was like, it's guaranteed at this point. Dude, Tommy was tweaking because they didn't four stack here, and I was like, "No, nah, we don't need a four stack." I just don't no, think. No, no, no. I agree. I agree. Like yeah, Tommy was fucking tweaking about it. Like AG shouldn't be in a position where he can die on point. Yeah, he just died from mid. I don't think we had trophies on either, so maybe that's kind of fucked. You just gotta play the backside team shot the cross because number yeah. four is your entire front side of the point. Mm -hmm. 
You don't need a four stack here. I was like, oh, Raj, I told you we were going to win. I'm sorry. Fucking trolled it. Fucking scam the round five defense, of course. I swear you get extra damage when you're round five offense. <laughs> We'll do this one quick because I want to get to the face series. I got like 20, 30 minutes left. Well, this round is quick anyway. We've fucking lost a rake and they just, they're on eight point already. This shit's, this shit's uber chalked at this point. Uber chalked. Dude, how the fuck did he win this one on Ant as well? This was crazy. Lamar Betty the Iceman. Damn. But this is a good break off for now. We were, we were just in the blender. From the yep. break. And they won this shit. Uh, we'll do skid row real quick. Hold in P2 like we normally do. It's easiest fucking hill to hold in the entire game. <laughs> Brandon getting a buck 20 on P2 on this Bro, I, I tell Brandon, I say, if you're top P2, we're winning the hill every time. He might be the best top P2 player in the league. I think he actually. I think he ended this map with like two minutes, ten seconds, or some shit like that. He, he got, soaks like, on this shit. <laughs> he soaks on this shit. Yeah, all of it on P two. Yeah, I don't know how you feel, but like the the decision, because like you know how there's like certain decisions in a hard point map, like that's map specific that will basically win you or lose you the game. Like the for example that I'm about to make, it's the the P, the second. P3 to P4 rotation mm -hmm. where teams spawn garage and decide to hit old instead of oh rotation. my god dude people like, hitting old on that P3 dude, is it. the worst they shit love it, bro they, I, I had the amount of maps that I have seen costed by teams hitting this hill with fucking 20 seconds we left is unreal what was it we beat Miami on it right because they did that yeah, shit when they hit old they yeah, yeah, hit yeah. Old with 20 seconds left dude and, right and I said if they would have hit P4 it it changes everything yeah dude like I watch a lot of COD, and that shit happens all the time. Like it, for what it, it it makes no sense to me. There's no incentive to go old there. Like people want to hit old to like guarantee like apartments and like have this push over here. But like, dude, just go. If you lose, if you lose those gunfights, you're fucked. You know what I'm <laughs> yeah, saying? Like on tunnel and you're dead. Yeah. I and sometimes like go mid and just kill the cross. Like you just hold it. Yeah, and sometimes just being first to the hill is just better anyway. Like you just play that shit tight and you're fine. Dashy should be in P2. He has too much talent. Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> He's too talented, dude. Yeah, like you can't see every fucking cross anyway from the hill. Like. There's so many hills in this game that are power spots. Literally. That's the one thing I, I was saying. I don't know if you were here when I was saying, but I was like, damn, they changed everything, but they left P2 the same? Yeah. Okay, well, but there's not like. There's really you can do on this map. Like, I, I like tried to go through and like figure out some hills on this game, and they're on this map, and there's just. The spots are just not good. Yeah. Like the only thing to do would be like put it in bottom garage, like in the two, the double rooms down there. And then have one like back here is like P5 where it is normally. Or just make like normal P1, make like P5, P2, make P3 like laundry or like alley. Or yeah. Like I was that. surprised laundry wasn't a hill. Yeah. And then like P4 and Barber and then P5 Garage or some shit like that. I don't, I don't actually don't mind the P5 back alley though. Or the P3 back alley. Yeah, the alley's fine. It's just like trying to figure out a rotation because if we're going to have a hill laundry in the alley. Then yeah, it's true. Yeah, yeah. Or just make, dude, just make P2 the bottom floor. Why is P2 not the bottom floor? Yeah, the bottom floor would be better too. Just forces the guy on the hill to actually take a gunfight instead of... Yeah, and you can't be capping the point from... Yeah. Hit, like, you know what I'm saying? Like, you'd have to have two people if you wanted to be at the, the top. The either useless or challenging. Yeah. There's no, like, he's not in a power spot. That's, well, that's what 100% the change they should have made, actually. Oh, LAT tweeted their parting ways with Cammy. Oh, really? And 
And the thing with this this type of lead, 70 points on Skid Row is like, all right, you can have P1. We'll just we'll just rotate the P2, bro. Like, yeah. like it's way different if the game is tied. Like we were saying before, which is just trading like the the two full 50s or 60s. Yeah. But if we're up 70, like. If you have a huge lead, I agree. But there's just like there's certain situations where I, th I think in my I think it was the Miami series, like if you're get, like P two is the give me sixty right like that's yeah. like the unbreakable, and I feel like trading an unbreakable sixty for like a potential mixy like thirty five twenty five seconds on P one <laughs> is like completely <clears throat> redundant. Yeah, like, you should not be guaranteeing a sixty because you rotated first and then giving the other team a voluntary one. Yeah. Appreciate you, bro. Thank you. <clears throat> it's an ultra dope killer. You think you have a break on it? Oh, they spawn tunnel. Oh. Cut. Brandon has a minute and 50 seconds, and he's going to have. P2 being the bottom creates the opportunity cost of getting time or holding a power position. Yeah, exactly. Like the, the fact that you're on, the fact you're on time and on the power position shouldn't be the, the thing on this. Yeah. There will probably be more announcements today, chat, I would assume. Oh, Intel? Intel. I mean, the fucking somebody tweeted yesterday the face black roster is fucking Joe Deceives on it. <laughs> Wait, so that mean uh, Asim's getting picked up? Yeah. I think Ooh. Asim and Kremp both got grabbed. I'm surprised Brack didn't, to be honest. But I thought their whole roster would have been scooped. Scooped up. I think Asim. I know Kremp was rumored to LA too, but I think, I think Asim is Boston. I don't remember. I also heard that they're not making a change. So I actually I'm not sure where he's going <clears> to <throat> Look at how Shotzi stay alive. You know, you, you, know <laughs> you know Ken after he, he doesn't get the kill. Like, one shot. <laughs> one <laughs> shot. <laughs> Let's get real PD. Thanks for the sub. That guy loves Reddit. <laughs> yeah, he does. But look, we still spawn apps. Yep. I kind of had to hit old there. Oh, yeah. In that situation. Look at this little fucking cred. Nah, this was gross. What series did AG get like a fucking six piece on this hill? <clears throat> uh, and and got like there. a and got like a six piece in the first series. I don't know if it was yeah, AG as well. Chat, what's there? What series was that? When AG got like a four piece and then killed the last guy on tunnel stairs. I don't remember what series that was. Let me do this last one real quick. I think it was Miami. Because we do get good time on this first P one anyway. It's not like. Yeah, it's not hard. Like if you if you. Have frags and they're not gonna have trophies. Like you can just back them off the hill. You can wall bank contest. <laughs> Drazilla. <laughs> oh, and there's the second tweet. Joe DeCees will be moved to our substitute spot. Oh, so they're keeping Joe, but releasing yeah, the camp. Playing, yeah, he's playing as the sub under Phase Black. Gotcha. Ah, look at you, PD. <laughs> <laughs> that guy loves Reddit. Look at these guys just fucking <laughs> running next to each other. Sprinting. It's actually hilarious how many times that shit happens where it's just like, no one sees each other, but on the mini map, you're like, how the fuck don't they see each other? They're just next to each other. Yeah. 
I wonder if we get any more roster announcements today. I would assume so because teams got to start scrimming. Yeah. No, Pen uh, Nate was our sub. Pentagram was in Vanguard. He just unfortunately was never going to be able to get a spot on that team because we were never going to make a change. <coughs> I feel bad for Nate, dude. He should have at least, like, he's been a sub for so many years. This map where Simp and Cell just go fucking nuclear. Yeah, Ken didn't have a good map. Oh, yeah. he, he was he, he was upset with us or with with himself after yeah. this uh, this map and series. I think is new patch better, JP? Uh, some things are better. Some things may be worse. Something we need need worse. yeah. We need more reps on it just to see. That. Chad, the rumor is uh, nasty and crimp. <clears throat> I'm surprised that phase one two hard points here. Same. To be honest. Do you think it was just like you guys playing down a little bit and kind of having a bad series, or do you think they were just like fucking? Yeah, I don't know. It it didn't feel like we were uh playing and killing the same way as we did against them yeah. in the previous series. Especially this map. This map was like. The worst hard point map we played all weekend, like scrim wise too. I mean, you guys were undefeated up until this. Series. We were, yeah. We were slamming. You know, I was telling them, uh, like the chat, but dude, our scrims on Wednesday and right before the Miami maps were horrible. I swear, bad scrims lead to good results. And then I it was like God. this spark, this spark that skid row hard point versus Miami, and then everything fucking clicked, and they were just dis yeah. disgusting the rest of the weekend. But our, Sorry, dude, our scrims, they'll probably see that shit in the process, but our scrims on the Wednesday were so bad. And you can ask anyone on the team on that. Yeah. That's right. We were, before we won Major 4 last year, I think we went like 5 and fucking 35 in, in scrim maps, like leading up to the event and including the event. Like we were literally the worst scrim team ever, and we won that bitch. Like, this is what I was saying by the, the side things, right? Like, we end yeah. first rotation with better side and tied. We should be winning this game. You know what I'm saying? Like, we had a bad start, but we were able to chain... Or we had this P5 that we full 60 and, like, we have the good side, quote-unquote, for the rest of this. A little bit of a heat check. <laughs> <laughs> Light heat check. Like, this is still a good situation. Like, if you tell me, oh, you can have this situation, like, going to second rotation, I'd be like, oh, we're, we're in a better position for sure. Just this year, like how they're able to kill Ant uh, once he gets to the tables, and they get the, like the back control. So, like, if you get the first kill when you chow around this corner, like most of the time, you should be good. Yeah. Then we just go two down. They get security spawns. We spawn off fucking plane. Yeah. Ag picks this up at the last second, but doesn't get the kill. That's just a good break by them. That's yo, give me a fucking blender. It's going to change the match so much with the premise will change. Yeah, that's what we were talking about before. Yeah. 
a lot of the hills are going to be it's going to be a huge change dude yeah the teams are going to actually be able to Guarant- play wait play wait guarantee a kill with your kill streak wow saying, fucking yeah, crazy concept crazy concept my six kill streak isn't neutralized by a fucking overtime field upgrade hell yeah man yeah it was this p2 p3 chat this is this is the dagger We just can get anything going at the end of the P1. That's where it started. I'll f- fast forward to the rest of the respawns. Uh, make the burger up, makes it, but yeah. Oh shit, I gotta go in like five minutes actually. <laughs> We're doing Rio call outs. I completely forgot. Oh, That's shit. my bad. Rio's in. Rio's in. We're testing. We're testing. But Let's go. Rio's in. <laughs> We're doing Rio call outs. Uh, well, let me. Is Rocket League on chat? It should be, right? It might pop over for a sec. It is on. <laughs> Yeah, no, Rio is is cool chat. It we only played it once, but it it looked it looked good. So you guys should test it for us and do. Let me know what you think. I actually really like the the bomb locations. I think they're really good. Bet anything's better than Skid Row at this point. Yeah, pretty much. Oh, we're on offense. You didn't hop up top plat and get the blood. No, we lost. <laughs> <laughs> oh, oh, they're oh they're smoking smoking the plat. Another another round. Just gonna hop Dude, through. Teams it. didn't even teams haven't even figured out that fire nade yet either through the window. Once people once teams start doing that shit, that map is over. I right, watched this last last map. Unfortunately, I'm not gonna have time for the last uh, the last hard point. Yeah, so we'll pop over to Rocket League for a little bit after we finish up here. I don't know how long we're gonna watch, but probably until time gets on, I guess. One of the big things I'm glad about this tournament, though, is like maps that we weren't willing to play, and the matches we we tested are not tested in online, but like opened up yeah, online. Don't really have any more auto videos. Oh no! I, it was like we were vetoing Karachi, but like we were still down to play it. We just thought a lot of teams wanted to play that shit, which they did. Like Toronto Phase, they love that shit, and it's like always a good spot to be when you can veto the like whoever you're playing the best yeah time. that's why it was big for us for sub base like to get that in the map pool and get comfortable on it not even comfortable but like actually wanted to play it how it's been working with damon damon's sick i think everyone on the team is like vibey with each other it's really nice Dude, I don't know why ken I'm ken's great to work with too by the way like ken's fucking oh, dude, so ken's nice to work with Scrims are like actually productive when Ken's on the team. <laughs> Makes shit so much easier. But his game sense is like, I don't know, probably the best I've ever had. Like with yeah, someone. Yeah, tweaks me out. <laughs> Cause I'll be like doing some shit, and then after the match, <laughs> like, you saw that shit. It's like, yeah, I yeah. fucking knew you were doing that shit. It's like, what? Like You're on the other side of the map. The map. Yeah. <laughs> it's like, bro, that rotation. Like, I know you slammed him. I'm like, wait, what? <laughs> you what? Wow, the fuck? The fuck? Homie's got UAV. Bro, Sam, you didn't hit that timing two seconds earlier, bro. Like, we would have broke here. <laughs> it's like, wait, you know what you're talking about? What the fuck? You were spawning up, like. <laughs> Shotzi killing spree. No streak. The Khabib. Damn. <clears throat> I remember the first time we got put in this, and I was like, holy shit. Like, why is there not a consistent A spawn? It makes no sense. Like, if there was a consistent A spawn, there's your A spawn. There's, okay, there's your ace point. Yeah. <laughs> oh it makes, it, I think it only happens when B is up. That's the only reason why we win this. And then look at that. Another ace spawn. Another one. I think Dude, I was time, mind blown. I think the only time it's possible is when 
and when B is actually up. I think once B is capped, the spawn goes away. I've never seen it happen. I think you're right. Up, or one B is capped. It happens later on in the game too. I'm pretty sure. Or maybe not. it happens in like early rounds or like when the B push doesn't work. Yeah. Like if we don't get the spawns, I don't know if we win this round. Like I don't know. I felt like it, that was just so. It was so random, but it was like, oh my god, that just worked in our favor. Like if, I, if Phase was the one on the other side of that, I would be pissed with the spawns that we're getting. You know what I'm saying? Yeah. <laughs> like you're just fucking posting on B Street. Like yeah, this round's over. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Guys, there's four on A. Oh, well, they're getting an A spawn. That's literally like a one percent chance. Like okay. And then they're spawning back blue here. He doesn't realize. My god, these timings are all fucking horrific. <laughs> yeah, right? If I was him, I'd be losing it. And just gone. Like, <laughs> and they're just gone. <laughs> Does control just slow down the way Brandon plays, you think? I think it slows down the way like a lot of ARs play. Especially invasion. Let us hope Rito is good enough to get in. Yeah, like we've been saying all day, it's. I'd be surprised. Like, I would 100% be surprised if it's not in. Consensus right now that I feel is a lot of teams like it. I would be very. Like, I. it needs to replace the map. There's no. It, yeah, it needs, it needs to replace as well. Like, I hate. I'm not going to lie, I hate having six maps. Yeah, six maps is dog shit. Plus, it, it, like, it has potential to be a three-mode map, too, is the thing. So, like, you got to figure that out for the pool. I think for sure, hard point search. I don't even know what the fuck. You, you were saying uh, the points were, like, yeah, one of the like mob sites mid, in top mid? You know, the map layout? Yeah, it's the entirety of top mid, like, the whole floor, and then where the white van is on, like, the far left side of the map, like, the <clears> opposite <throat> of the bridge side. Yeah. The outside of the garage. Why is six maps bad? Um, well, one, it requires teams to be good at pretty much everything. Um, and then it messes with the veto process as well, because there'll be open maps. And it, you'll be basically getting another veto as team A or team B. Yeah. Two open maps, I guess. Because yeah. one would, yeah, there's always like one left open, but now you'd have two left open. It's kind of whack. Yeah. So like whoever vetoes second would basically get two vetoes, because you were, or whoever picks would get two vetoes, excuse me. <clears throat> You veto two each. I mean, you could hypothetically, but I don't think so. Having six is just never ideal. I don't know. Two two vetoes sounds so whack. Yeah, you wouldn't even want six though, because like. There's bad maps. You don't just want to put it in for no yeah, reason. Yeah, two like, two vetoes like, like dude. Maps. The fact that you can all you technically auto veto two maps sounds yeah. so stupid. Whoa, what is this? Current ticks? What the fuck? Has this always been a thing? Wait, what the fuck is that? I've never seen that. That must be something manual that they're putting up. Oh yeah, they're putting. I mean, they're definitely overlaying that. But wait, is that a thing, Chad? I don't know. That looks fucking sick, though. They added it during the major. Really? I never noticed that. Yeah, I haven't I noticed that shit them. either. That's cool. No, I'm glad how we played this this map too. Honestly, like I was expecting to play more Karachi control. We only played one, and we played it pretty well. 
So like the fact that we got more match reps on this was good. Control every fucking series, dude. I'm I swear every I saw I saw our Karachi control and I saw the New York uh, Minnesota one with the, the defenses like yeah, keep getting resets. Stuff, yeah. And I I swear I didn't see that shit again. The rest of high rise control and like that was it. <laughs> invasion for the rest of the weekend. But there's only one high rise control the whole weekend. And it was y'all. I thought we'd see it way more, but we oh no we lose this round. I thought we were gonna win it. Two lives is just not enough at this point. Yeah, we just lose this. All right, last round. John, thank you. Breach. Team Nade. Wait, wait. This was the A spawn. Yeah. Last guy B, he spawns A. Two guys spawn A. That's what I'm saying. Like, Bro, you think like... You think our previous offense like influenced it at some or something dude i do not understand why we would spawn a no there I, i've tried to find the only correlation i could find is like b not being capped i don't know if it's happened without it but like damn that shit is so like i would be heated if i was a phase in this situation if i lost two defenses because of an a street spawn i might tweak that's what i'm saying like i might tweak and we just insta cap both of these. And just cap both. Huh? Oh, fuck. damn! All right, man. Enjoy your fucking Rio call out. Rio call outs. Intel. Intel chat. Intel. All right. I'll talk to you later. Thanks for hey, taking this VOD journey with me. Yeah, for sure. If I get fucking copyrighted, I'll direct them over. <laughs> yeah, send them my way, dude. Have have their people talk to my people. Yeah, I got you. All right. I'll see you. Peace, peace. All right, thanks, Shut. Thanks for tuning in. Uh, unfortunately, don't have time to do the last map. I gotta go over to the office uh, before scrim so we can do real callouts. But thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed the stream. Uh, I'll, I will be uploading this. I'll probably just upload the full vod to to YouTube in case anyone missed it or or missed parts of it. So I'll see you guys later. Peace.